What? Why have ground beef? But I don't even like meat. I like vegetables. Like bread. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. You're, you're. Oh! Hold on, Dad. <laughs> to what? To what? <laughs> What's up, Billy? It's time to solve some mysteries. Scooby Doo Mystery Inc. I'm Ruff. How you doing? Welcome to the channel. I'm Boom. I'm Eric. Better right. Oh. Come on, Sheriff. Wait, what? so they solved the mystery in the jail cell? Oh my god, yes. Came with the shark. It's here because nah. if there's a crime, I solve it. I forget his name, but I love this guy. Patrick Warburton. Yeah. Oh, 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 are you in trouble? <laughs> the mayor. Oh. Oh. Once it would be nice oh. if someone thanked us for solving a mystery. Good thing we're not in this to be liked. Definitely did not have them being locked up on my bingo card. Yeah, no, not at all. Uh -oh. Welcome to the Crystal Cove Haunted Tour. I'm your ghoulish guide, Velma. The first documented case of the curse of Crystal Cove is from 1630. When a Bro, she is not about it. The doors mysteriously vanished from the harbor. Oh, that is so scary. Where did they go? <laughs> what part of the word mystery didn't you understand? <laughs> <laughs> the curse struck again in 1765 when an entire town of missionaries likewise disappeared. Things were pretty quiet until a hundred years later when Cletus Darrow found gold here and renamed the town Crystal Cove. Ta da! Until the entire Darrow family disappeared one Halloween and was never seen again. <laughs> <laughs> Minor 49ers' real name was Hank. Charlie belonged. That's embarrassing. Thank you, Velma. Oh, is that her parent? I think so. We just want answers. Is that wrong? Tickling chin whiskers. Have we ever seen their parents in past versions? Not that I remember. I don't think so. Life is not all about traps. It's also about gamblers and women. That is disgusting. Nah, nah, Shaggy, you lost me. I'm sorry. You put fish on your pancakes. It's over. I... Don't forget. Also, I think Fred's dad is. Was it Gary Cole? Oh, it's delicious. Oh! Which one of you broke that wall? <laughs> that would be awesome. Impossible. There's only one sewer and we're in it. Unless you've broken into another dimension. The dimension. <laughs> this is a regular show now? Caves. I mean, this looks like a different dimension, let's be honest. What are you a f I think I see something. Holy uh -huh. Yeah. That went well. If they live through that, they are now ninja turtles. They their faces were just melted off. Oh. oh, that would have killed all of you. Okay, this is actually a violent attack right now. Uh, they, This might be a little new to them. I think that's just a little more important than school. <laughs> Yo, he's like, let's go after it. Yo, he's like, school. Mm. What? Yo, they did die. Holy sh. All right, you see what happens when you kids stick your noses where they don't belong? What, they find dead people for you? Shaggy. Start the car. Oh, shut! No! He just stole shot. the toxic body! Bro! He's stealing <laughs> a corpse! Dude, he what is raw dogging so toxic weird. sludge. It is. I know just who can at, help us. At least, like, alcohol swab your hands. <laughs> this is a crazy first episode. <laughs> he just stole a person. <laughs> he kidnapped a corpse from a police vehicle. Do you know what could have done this? The cocoon material looks organic. <laughs> My guess? The cocoon is a multi-celled mutation, probably a result of radiated allotropes and free radical implosion. What do you think, Shaggy? I think I want more fruit Myers. <laughs> Velma deserves better. I'm sorry. Huh? Someone there? <laughs> oh. Um. Is he in a radioactive cocoon now? I, I'm going to guess yes. Yes. He has been beef jerky. Bro, Ooh. they really do look like beef jerky. It's crazy. Ew. No, you guys, it's Fruit Myers. The cocoon is made of the same stuff as Fruit Myers dessert. What? So imagine what it does to your insides. Franklin Fruit Meyer showed up in town out of nowhere two months ago. He's hiring right now for female servers. <laughs> like, uh... This isn't exactly what I had in mind. Bro, every show, every single show is a cross-dressing episode, I'm telling you. It is a fact. I wish I could eat like them. Run, Scoop! <laughs> well, okay. What? Oh, look, the toxic waste barrels. Hey, ugly, over here! 
Yo, but Mans was able, yeah, Mans is able to have extendo arms and like what? It's like playing mousetrap. Oh! <laughs> what? They had the backup plan in case it didn't hit him. With pliers? Are you kidding me? Um, <laughs> got him. It's fruit pliers. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. <laughs> like, it's just food. Eat his face. Right. That's what I was thinking. Just take a bite. No. Oh, this has Ghostbuster two vibes. Fred, you saved me. Not right now, Daphne. <laughs> I feel so bad for her. Franklin Fruitmeyer's the one who called us. What? But if the monster isn't Franklin Fruitmeyer... Rip his face off. Who is it? <gasps> Manuel Ruffalo! I was trying to scare people away from the sewers while I dug my way into the bank and got rich. But you've got a job as a teacher. Why do you need more money? What? <laughs> Yo, sorry for suspecting you, Fruitmeyer. Where you were digging. Never oh. Seen it before. Oh, my man knows something. What's up? Yeah. We owe you kids thanks. You did save the bank. Although you also lost the town a serious revenue stream. A stream of revenue. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like, thanks for preventing the bank from being robbed, but I hate you all. Right? You should never have brought that locket out of the cave. You don't know what you've uncovered. Lois Black? Uncovered what? The truth behind the curse of Crystal Cove. Is that what's his name? Just begun. <laughs> Just your random coal town in Pennsylvania. Are you sure this is New York City? Yeah, absolutely. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this here is uh, Broadway. Oh my God, he's supposed to be. It's supposed to be vacation. Is that an evil dog. <laughs> he looks mad. Hello, anybody there? Hello. Roll him up. Grab me some gas, and I'm out. Well, hmm. are you gonna lose your daughter? <laughs> what are you doing, Pops? You leaving the dog? Oh, they just leaving the dog. What about puddles? <laughs> okay. I'm not got it. The f Who do you expect to trap outside your front door? Let's find out. Oh. Bro, oh, no didn't even shot. know. I got a package for uh, Fred Jones. Hey, that's me. I would hate to deliver that person. It's from Mr. E. Mr. E. Save this for a rainy day. Enjoy. Mr. E gives me the creeps. Fred, careful. That could be a bomb. Ooh, strike that. Cute purse. <laughs> Check it out. 100% pure gator made in Gatorsburg. But that's impossible. Gatorsburg hasn't manufactured gator products in decades. What? <laughs> Back in the 1800s. Okay. And a group of prospectors searching for gold struck something much more valuable. Gators? An alligator. Bro, they just murdered the... They had to go in yeah, the lions to dig I... for alligators? The town became famous for its gator skin products. What is happening? Oh. In the gator. Then the gator wells ran dry. <laughs> Not AKA, the gator they wells! They genocided the gators, they bro. Did. Anything but the gator well. Let's split up and look for clues. How about we check out Gator Burger? Okay. Sounds delicious. Have you guys ever eaten alligator before? No, I don't know if I would want to, to be honest. It's actually not bad. Pass. I'm not eating that. Tell me what you're doing in Gatorsburg. Our van broke down. Maybe you could take a look at it. You look like you've got the hands for the job. Here's your problem. Engine's missing. So like you're saying we're stuck in this super creepy gator town all night long? <laughs> We're not going to discuss how the engine went missing. Hey, Mom, we're stuck in Gatorsburg. The van broke down. Think you could come and get us? Oh, I wish I could. But tonight's race night. You know me and horses. Venus dude, dude, that picture is, it, it explains everything. Dog? The dog. Dog dies. Huh? <laughs> but, but, I suppose. That was ominous. Yo. We ain't got no rooms. But your sign in the window says vacancy. Uh. Sign's broken. But it's a painted sign. Yo, 
Yo, she got the same eyes as my pit bull. Gunther, we got gas. There's number three. Is he made of fruit Myers as well? Oh. I got a few hotel rules. Boys and girls in separate rooms. No exceptions. Why is that a you problem? Like, why do you care? No. She said the sexes are like my eyes. Keep them separated. No pets in the hotel. It's okay, Scoob. You can sleep in the mystery machine. That's so messed up. Hey, do you prefer flannel or cotton sheets? Shaggy? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, <laughs> Velma. Were you sneaking over to see me? Um, yeah, like I wanted to see you. Oh. But Freddy told me I had to go check in on Scooby-Doo. Trust me, Scoob is just fine. Damn. Whoa. <laughs> Scoob just loses his mind out in the mystery machine right now. I have something for you. It's just a little memento of our time together. That was just not gonna be what she expected. Pictures of <laughs> <laughs> the Phantom of Vasquez Castle. It's a scrapbook of traps. Oh, oh it's literally them. <laughs> like it's li it's literally the two people. Like yeah, three three gators, three people. Well, no, but look look at them. They look just like it. Like the dude oh, yeah, got the right. emo haircut. That's the. An old lady inside the yeah, and I guess that's got it. That's supposed to be the 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 big guy. But is that too obvious? <laughs> Who else could it be? And I left a few pages blank, you know, for future traps. <laughs> Scoob, what's the matter? He's trying to tell us something. <laughs> Tater people. <laughs> Tater people. <laughs> Skater people. Gator people. Fred be might be my favorite, dude. <laughs> oh, holy sh! Velma. God damn! <laughs> you definitely scared Scooby. What? Where are you? <laughs> Scooby said, this is what you get for leaving me outside. They weren't trying to eat us. They just want us out of town. If we're going to solve this mystery, we have to go back into Gatorsburg. <laughs> Damn, she just... <gasps> oh, they're controlling the market. <laughs> yeah, that's what... <laughs> Crocodiles ever? Who are you calling a crocodile? Oh, but she's able to just hold them. <laughs> Holy sh! The traps, though. Y'all trying to kill them? Got him! Oh my God! Wow. Time to find out who these greedy gators do you think? Greedy gator? Yeah. No way. Whoa. What? Gunter Gator? No way. This here's a home. So with no alligators left, you decided to make imitation gator products and pass them off as real. My Dump man tires. is melting tires. <laughs> is melting tires. Are you serious? Arrest them. Oh God. Even though I have absolutely no jurisdiction here <laughs> he's squeaking as he walks away <laughs> 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 this show is awesome so far oh like there's no engine in the mystery machine it's haunted now the engine's back somehow hope you had a good time oh my god i'm an idiot mr e yeah mystery e. yeah you, you didn't realize that the yeah, word I'm, mystery I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I dude, I like that dynamic. I don't know why. Do you realize you were speeding? Uh, yes, yes, I do. Oh, you're not supposed to talk with them. As long as you know. What? On your way then. Drive safely. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> All right, you pull over. Yeah, you're not gonna question that it's on fire though. Yeah, I was like, it's a big rig on fire. Dude, why are you in front of it? That is insane. The, no, it slowed down and went behind him. Oh, uh, it, bro. <laughs> oh. 
That's what I was saying, though. Evasive maneuvers, brother. Damn. Like, don't let yourself get outplayed by the Mad Max ghost truck. That's literally what it was, though. It was a Mad Max ghost truck. Like, damn. Fred, my boy, today is a very exciting day for you because today you learn the family business, politics. You know, kids my age are into traps and solving mysteries. Fred, you look like you're 30. Help me get reelected as mayor. Make me 40,000 <laughs> copies of this campaign pamphlet. I see. This is how he gets free work. Uh-huh. Darling, could you come downstairs? There's someone your mother and I would like for you to meet. They're going to try and set her up with another rich boy. Heir to the Latterton. Wrong the Latterton. <laughs> um, hello. Nice to meet you. Yes. Yes, it is. I hate him. Oh, thanks. But that I already David have Spade? Him. Sorry, but I gotta <laughs> run. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah. yeah. I want to hit him with a crowbar. Why have ground beef? But I don't even like meat. I like vegetables. Like bread. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> He's a vegetable. <laughs> Why are you letting a dog use a copier? Even as a dog, a copier shouldn't do that, I'm pretty sure. Avocados. That's Avocados. His name's Avocados. Avocados. <laughs> His father, Theodore Avocados, was mayor once. Until he was caught stealing a priceless diamond, the diamond was never found. But Theodore went to jail. George has claimed his father's innocence ever since. So his father probably is innocent, isn't he? Can't wait to dig into a triple clam pizza at the clam cabin. A clam <sighs> I'm sorry, pizza. Shaggy. I've been on board with you in a lot of movies, but you've been... Yeah. What's up with this? What does this version of Shaggy have to do with fish? Oh, boy. Like my or... stomach gets very grumpy when I don't feed it. We be all closed. Are you ready, kids? Someone I can't hear you. <laughs> Just like that clam who stole me nose. So he took the donut? What? Why? What? So he went he went clam diving and it ripped its nose off? Yo, I understand oh. running the cop off the road, but what, what's your problem with a couple kids solving mysteries? <laughs> Bro. Oh! Oh my god! And thus ends episode three because they all died. Yo, can you imagine? Jeez, talk about a lucky break. Not that lucky! Yo, my man said, psych, I'm back. <laughs> tire tracks? What kind of ghost truck leaves tire tracks? Hello, Daphne's phone. Daphne, wrong here. Yeah, I must have missed your call. Anyway, our date is on for tomorrow night at the Bloody Steak. Yo, is he doing coke? Why is he cleaning this? Guy really sounds cool. <laughs> Fun too. I mean, you want me to go? Of Damn. course. Dude, he's so supportive too. I mean, at what point do we just be like, maybe Fred's not that interested? I That's want a restaurant tough. to go hang out. That's like that. Same. Bloody Steak. You think a villain would have a less embarrassing ride? I'm like, there's some heads up ahead, and we're all out of spoons. Oh, now he's missing, and truck shows up. <laughs> um. Dude was just taking a nap. They woke his ass up. There's two ghost trucks. Wait. Nobody make a sound. I am impressed with Fred's driving skills. It worked. He didn't see us. <sighs> Daphne, you're never going to believe Dude. what happened. I can't wait to hear all about it. Let's go. Sucks a lot. Uh, Daphne, shouldn't we be getting back to dinner? Uh, sorry, Rung, but something more important has come up. <sighs> <sighs> My neck's a 16 and a half, too. And yeah, sometimes it swells. Really? Yeah. Hold on. Damn, maybe they should be on the date together. Pretty good on you. You are so right. Bro, wait, is it, isn't that the one that Dude. Daphne made for him? They said that ass got switched. Yeah, they just, they had a, all right. It's like some kind of freaky letter, man. <gasps> I have a feeling I know who it's from. Really? Do you? What's this? What era are they even in? I, I, I don't even know anymore, bro. <laughs> if you want to solve the mystery, you need to follow the fog. Don't worry, Daph. I wouldn't let anything happen to you. I wouldn't let anything happen to any of my pals. You're all the same in my eyes. I can't tell if he's hamming it up because he actually does like her and like is afraid to let her know. I don't know. But he also I, just I, traded ascots with, with yeah. Rung. Duh, there's a secret passage somewhere. 
Nah, dude. Bats give you rabies. I'd check out then. Yep. What the? F Do it. <laughs> it could be our new secret hangout. Yeah. Just me, you, and a couple thousand doorknobs. What? <laughs> I, <laughs> I, bro, it's why. Watch where you shine that light; it might explode the mountain. George's dad, the one who was arrested for diamond theft, even though the diamond was never found. Because he turned them into Dorna. <laughs> That's hilarious. I think this mystery is starting to come together. Ghost uh. truck. <laughs> there was enough pathway for it to get through, you know. Yo, <laughs> yo, no way. He's Just Indiana backwards. Jones without the hat, bro. They're going to stop him with Scooby Snacks? What? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Is Pop still over the shark tank? No, he's gone, luckily, because that would have killed him. We caught the ghost trucker, and he's none other than... Let me out of here. <laughs> <sighs> Wrong yep. ladder to... You... Of course. It all makes sense. Is every episode just going to be some sort of other meddling? I hope so. But run, you're rich. You've got everything. Nah, he's not rich. Ascots. <laughs> you got ascots, bro. Thanks, Daph. No worries. I'm always here for you, Fred. Seriously, right here. I got a hand it. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> Does this mean you finally accept what I want to do nope. with my life? <laughs> oh, Fred, no. <laughs> because of this, as still acting mayor, I hereby create the honorary office of Pizza Affairs and name its chief officer. What? Go be yummy, yummy, do. Are they selling this diamond? Because how does that make up for the loss of on a revenue? Hey, man, it's an asset. They don't need to sell it. That's the last net. Can we go home now, Dylan? Fair. Yeah, Dylan. Trickles trick with people. We do a good job setting up for the tournament. I hate manual labor. I can't wait for a time when robots do everything for us. You want to see Krabby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you got to deserve this. Where'd you get that? The giant fake crab parts emporium? Damn, he really just... <laughs> Yeah, nice try. Why is he so chill about this? You got an air tank under there? Brenda? Come on, stop joking. Oh, brainstorm! Wow, rip Brenda. I was thinking the same thing, dude. Revenge of, Revenge the, of man the man crab. crab. Crab people, crab people. Crab people, crab people. No calorie, gluten free moisture supplement. Yo, Pebbles and Bam Bam. Wait, what? What? Wait for it. Liquid right there. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's their, like, teenage version. Yeah. Damn. Hey there, He's serving Kathy. ice cream out of a stump. What happened? I just love that his nose is has an eye patch over it. I'll take an extra large, please. Didn't we agree that you would cut out the junk food? I should. I totally eat something healthier. Damn, she's changing him. You want one, Daph? <laughs> oh. Fred, you know what happens when I get near seafood. You remember my sister's wedding. What? <laughs> oh! Crab man. <gasps> Not the net. Like a snake too. Oh, oh shh. Oh. Hi. Oh my dude. <laughs> what the f What? They've been moving They're around cool. so quickly though. I mean I could see them switching it up maybe at one point. And who wasn't around when the man crab grabbed that girl? He's so angry at the city for moving his cabin, he has a perfect motive for ruining the tournament. So that means it's not him. Huh? And what I was thinking is, we need a trap for the man crab. Oh my God. Good plan. Daphne, you used to play a little volleyball back in the day, didn't you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Here's the plan. Daphne will run across the sand to here, where the man crab will step on this plunger. And when he does, a big lid will spring up under him and dump him into that pot. <laughs> We're gonna cook the man crab. We're gonna cook him. Who are you trying to impress? <laughs> what? This old thing? Who else would it be? I know, right? Come on. Would you rub oil on my back? Fred likes shiny things. And <laughs> 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 he likes shiny things. Working on a yeah, he's just himself. really... <gasps> Make sure you get me between his shoulder blades, okay? When I burn there, it makes me look like a hunchback. <gasps> hey! Well, they were right. You getting kidnapped. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh, oh no, bro. <laughs> Holy sh! What happened? Something that smelled like drawn butter threw me in the van. It was the man crab. He took Daphne. Holy sh! Is this gonna be like Fred realizing how much he cares about her? We have to, Velma. I don't know what to do. And she was so shiny. <laughs> <laughs> she was so shiny. Uh, I'll get it. Mr. E. Gotta be. Uh, Mr. E. So I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that Mr. E is their parents. You think? You think so? Do you know them? No. Sorry, it's nothing. Zoinks! Like it looks an A track? Soundtrack. Oh my god, Fred. Fred. It's not working. It's an A track, Freddy. Old school, baby. <laughs> Listen to this. Skipper threatened the whole town. He swore he'd take drastic action. Daphne was drastically taken? Drastically. And check this out. It says the Crystal Cove Caverns run under the beach, where the volleyball tournament is being played. Do the crime statistics in this city have to just be outrageous? Fred, is that you? Now I hear her voice everywhere. And her voice sounds as sweet and as perfect as a trap snapping shut on a criminal. Did I say that out loud? Oh, man. Fred's getting that realization now. Mm -hmm. Oh, Fred! Thank goodness! Hey, this is a nice cage. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to the surface before... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy sh... God. Like, how is this a person doing this in a costume? Bro. Dude. What the f How is this a person? You know what's crazy is Maybe his vision not, isn't like human like though. Oh, it's a robot. That's why. <laughs> yeah, okay. Like we got him. Speaking Damn. of clam cones, Whoa. Skipper Shelton isn't around again. Or are you Skipper? Ah. Back from the laundry mat, I am. <laughs> if you're not the man crab, then who? Everyone, meet Bud Shelton. Who? What? Like, how did you know, Velma? I knew it wasn't a real crab because Daphne never got allergic when she was around it. Oh, that's oh, true. Oh, yeah. Spent countless hours making the man crab costume and even more time building my system of trap doors and stairs. You know what's hilarious is he made a whole entire robotic man crab and then the worst constructed stairs I may have ever seen. Yeah work just to get back at Mr. Trickle? Wouldn't it have been easier and more legal to sue him? Are you kidding? Lawyers take forever. What? Probing into my crustacean. You know, Daphne's right on that one. <laughs> Doesn't suck the clam. Does it, Wolfie? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is glorious. For him. Mm -hmm. what, like, what is it, Dal? The locket I found. The one with the picture of the boy and girl inside? <gasps> it's them. Oh. I guess we've got a new mystery on our hands. Oh. She's like, they know. Are you Mr. E? Yo, hold up now. That would be sick. That's broccoli. <laughs> Deliver these packages right That's away. Every 15-year-old haircut nowadays at the gym. I like green green. <laughs> Bedtime, Arthur. Damn, he really into broccoli. Isn't this like that, like Veggie Tales? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Is, is it Veggie Tales? Babysitter ever. <sighs> was the bestest babysitter ever. Arthur, are you all right? <gasps> oh God! <sighs> Sorry, your son turned into a gremlin. <laughs> Good on Daphne for that flip, though. This is my house. Damn. Damn, the backflip off the windowsill. That kid got the dog in him. So your son turned into a gremlin and chased me out of your house, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> what got into Arthur last night? Right. Oh. One second, he's as sweet as can be, and the next, he's trying to kill me. Maybe he had too much sugar. <laughs> <laughs> too much sugar. I love how innocent of a thing he, person he is. I'm flunking out. Coach says if I don't pass, I'm off the team. I could tutor you. When the f*** do you have time to do anything? Just you and me alone. 
on me. Dad already hired a tutor. I'm supposed to meet her in the library during lunch. Her? Just take the extra tutoring, man. Like, where's everyone going? Oops, sorry. Damn, she just like straight up punched him. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Bay Wozenthal, what's going on? How's Arthur? <laughs> Damn, they just straight up leaving their child, bro. You promised me you were going to start caring more about your appearance. But I like these pants. <laughs> You've worn them since the eighth grade. They're exactly. Pants. They're comfortable Wait. pants. Same pants or same style? You're the brilliant senior? I have an IQ of 195. I should actually Damn. be in college. Come, Frederick. We have a lot of work. <laughs> You're that new exchange teacher. Dr. Luis de Portillo. Now I feel I stress me. Oh. oh. Uh huh. Dr. Portillo. Okay, so he's not the villain. That is or... none of your business. It's too easy. Yeah, every time it's, there's it's, always the one that's maybe, too easy. It's too obvious. Maybe it's because it's too easy. <laughs> so like, this is real, I guess, right? <laughs> it's like he. It's like a splinter cell of child gremlins. Um, they're awful, bro. Awful. <laughs> Oh, Shaggy. Yeah, I had a girlfriend in high school try and do this. It didn't last long. Portillo, it's important that we talk to you. Do you recognize this creature? Yes. It is Velma. Okay, horrifico. A mythological creature. Fred, that's not a blowgun. It's oh, a my God. Flute. This pan flute is purely for recreational purposes, I assure you. Oh, how dare you accuse me? No one's accusing you of anything. But now we're accusing you. Right? <laughs> nah, it's too easy. What could possibly be more important than civics? I was real worried she was going to do that. <laughs> like in, in his face. Right. I'm, yeah, I'm happy that, that it didn't so gross, happen. Bro. Is he in there? Yo, my man just had a shot of espresso. He just sweating it out. Down. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we know it's not Dr. Portillo. I am not the weirdo. We're going to catch that thing. Like, Ten minutes being chained into that chair, I'd already have to pee, bro. 100%. Like, this whole neighborhood's been spookified. I wonder if it's the little smart girl. Oh, you think? This was my idea to civics. Why would it be her? She's all about civics. Because the may, yeah, but she wants to be part of the city council. And this is a problem she can solve because she's also a child. And remember, the mayor said that she couldn't be part of city council because she's too young. Mm -hmm. Don't our two young children seem to be having a <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> this is nice. Watch it, Daphne. Remember, we're married. Don't look so happy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Damn, Frederick. Like, I don't want to be spookified. Ow. Thanks, Scoob. You're welcome, Maggie. <laughs> Say hello to Mr. Trap. Oh, it actually worked? Okay. Quick. All I'm saying is, and I ain't trying to make this sound come off the wrong way. I could be out of every one of those kids and still secure them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you ain't wrong. Yeah, yeah, you ever see that commercial of the dude I will fight a where child. he's just smacking up everybody at the party? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. Boom. Yeah. Boom. The cop shows up. He smacks the shit out of them. You can't just. Wait, he's the <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. This feels like the first, like, this is like the first real thing. Daphne, Velma, over here. Get behind me. That <laughs> stupid kids. Turn the TV on. Ah, uh, yeah. Professor Broccoli will save the day. I'm telling you, that's why they focused on that show so much. Yep. Never mind. It's not real. So who's under the mask? Yeah, I think I was it Boom that said it. I think he's right. I think it's gonna be that girl. You mean her, Marianne Learon? <laughs> I went to every kindergarten and elementary school to convince the Damn. to pretend to be spookified. She went full Chairman Mao. You're taking me to jail, but I'm just a kid. Another mystery solved. We haven't gotten a message from Mr. E yet either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, Horrifico, <laughs> he's back. Yo, that painting in the background is fire. 
thank you with a pen flute concert. All right. It's time you knew Shaggy likes Baggy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's actually not. Eight. See, communication is key. That was see, Scooby good. Know, yeah, Scooby see, knows. Yeah, like hidden. it doesn't have a key thing, but I could see it like being used as a key in the sense of like it goes like the whole thing goes into like a slot. Right. Yeah. Like one of those like uncharted ass. No more, mom. Sorry, it's just that I remember my prom. So much joy, so much passion. The dad looks pissed. <laughs> you didn't go with me. That's why. Um. Thanks for coming with me, Randy. Can I make a little confession? This isn't my first prom. Uh, I went to prom with other boys. I just want to party hardy. How long have what? you been, 17? What, what, what's going on with her legs? What? Be my boyfriend, Randy. I think Randy just got sexually assaulted, bro. I guess prom is coming up. Any plans? I'll probably do the same thing I do every year. Monitor my police scanner and patrol the sewers. <laughs> P oh, patrol the, the sewers. Gotcha. Well, good luck with that. Huh? Damn. One open. Let me try. These are Series S Kaiser tumblers. Sometimes they stick. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Alice May, I'm new. Uh, new, huh? Well, good luck. Come on, Fred, let's go. You know this school can be like a maze? Several models of it in my spare time to chart my class route. Oh, how sweet! Thanks, Fred. Do you think Fred likes Daphne and he's just one of those people that, like, just is so dumb he can't he can't realize that, like, she's giving the vibe back? I think he, like, likes her, but he's also clueless because I've had a girl literally just be like, yo, I wish someone would take me to this movie, and I was like, I literally said good luck with that. <laughs> There have been several recent reports of a phantom limousine with a ghost girl inside stealing young men away into the night. That probably is part of Gang, I think we've got a new mystery on our hands. Yeah, and you're standing right next to her. It's like someone has erased everything about the missing kids. Who doesn't want you found? Huh? Ah! Who's there? She's gonna chase someone down in the dark? Bro, they're mystery solvers. <laughs> Daphne ain't no. Come on. You're not wrong. Oh. It was the girl. Huh? It was 100% the girl. I mean, she looks exactly like the, the person in the limo. Daphne, it's just me. Uh, damn. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. You must think I'm pretty silly. What's silly about being scared? I like the way you said that. Right? I'll be sprinting right the f*** out of that school, bro. What? She's got keys to the basement? I'm you gonna follow her down to the basement? Don't you think I'd know if she were a ghost girl? I'd be willing to bet no. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the fact that she's super nice and her hair smells like peaches. Oh. And Fred Jones, do you like this girl? Wow, look at the time. You're not wearing a watch, Fred. Oh. Well, I better go find one then. Oh. 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 We should split up, cover more ground. I'll go with Scooby. Whoa. Daphne playing that playing that smart game though, like. So how's it going with the prompt? Like I said, I think all of them know. Yeah, I mean, they're. It's not like they're doing a good job of hiding it, right? Yeah, like... Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Haunt. Daphne, what? Why did you scream? That's why. <laughs> they have broken so many tombstones already, <laughs> like, bruh. This is part huh? of the creeper's old. There's a sandwich in there, bro. A transfer slip from Crystal Cove High. Uh, <laughs> hey, gang. What are you doing in here? Fred! Wow. This is a neat mausoleum. Miss <laughs> May is a ghost. She wants to put you in her man posse. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, he he's with her. That's what I was assuming. You found out Alice has asked me to the prom, and you think it's going to affect our friendship. Oh, Fred! <laughs> No! Bro, even the Are dog you? knows, man. See, I'm telling you, Scooby knows, man. Scooby knows more than any of them. Let me tell you a story. There was a beach. Enemy dug in along the shore. They picked us up one by one, but I knew I had to get my men through. Understand? No. All right, here's another story. <laughs> don't worry. I'm going to figure this out. Like, I don't think we have as much in common. <laughs> Please quit telling me stories. Set? Um, Please, Fred. This is your last chance. Ah, <sighs> what the heck? 
Going to the prom with a friend will be more fun than a date. Oh my God, Fred! Hey, Alice, I can't go to the prom with you. It's nothing personal, but Daffy and I... That was the ghost limousine, too. Oh, look, we're out of sardines. I'll just run to the store and get some. Oh? Hmm. Bro, how, like, what do you mean? Oh, no, he's gonna... Is that you? Yeah, let's go. I'm in my pants. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, all he had to do was be honest with Scoob. That's the same backpack from the Carl's Well Crypt. Those are Alice's clothes. Gonna be like his granddaughter or something. Oh yeah, you're probably right. Kind of right. What is this? What you want? Me. One last dance. And a trap. Now. Okay, I literally thought that was like a noose at first. I was like, she may look like a ghost girl, but in reality, she's Alice May, known as Alice Carswell. Carswell, the creeper? That's right. He was my father. When daddy was imprisoned, I vowed revenge on those who put him there. Damn. And I would nope. have succeeded that, too yeah. if it weren't for you meddling schoolmates of mine. Very confused what? here. What like they, they, look, they, were they looked the same age when they caught him. Oh no! The sheriff forgot to take Alice's backpack for evidence. Sheriff! This is one of the old Crystal Cove yearbooks. It's gonna match the thing. The kids are disappeared. Mystery Corporate. Brad Childs, Ricky Owens, Cassidy Williams, Judy Reeves, and mascot Professor Pericles. Oh my God! They had a yeah. Like. These kids were just like us. I like that, dude. Why did they disappear? Probably because they keep trying to solve mysteries. Your parents killed them. Is it taken care of? They bought the story. It'll be a couple of days before they realize Deacon Carlswell never had a daughter. You were paid for a job by my employer, Mr. E. Let's just say he needed them to start looking into the real mystery hiding beneath crystal coves of four youths. A mystery whose time has come to be solved. Mystery is Professional Pericles. You think it's the bird? Yeah, it's the mascot. The bird? Nah, he got reincarnated into <laughs> Scooby. <laughs> God, that'd be crazy, dude. <laughs> do you want uncut and early reactions to your favorite series that we do here on the channel? What about double episodes? We have all of that available and more for Billy's on Patreon and members on YouTube. Your support means the world to us and it allows us to keep doing what we love and keep delivering you the content that you love or will eventually love because Billy is love. Billy is live. Everything's going to be fine, Billy. Everything's going to be fine, Billy. Everything is going to be fine, Billy. Everything is going to be fine, Billy. I wonder if it's the same. They sound the same. These seats are amazing. I thought you had to be a scalper to get front row tickets for the Hex Girl. I am. Just need to know Velma. <laughs> I love you, Hex Girl. Damn, get it. Oh, shit. What a perfect time for a villain to appear. What? Why are you so shiny? Okay. Phantom of the concert. What? Hit him with a guitar like, We're just going to play our music over you. They're like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, shit. Did that actually land on her? <laughs> bro bro <Man. laughs> what the f wow that escalated so fast the beating of the court damn this is gus boggs our manager thorn seems to be the phantom's primary target so what we need is a double huh me i'll do it me me <laughs> damn i'm a hex girl and i'm gonna put a spell on you okay daphne's our phantom bait oh this is so exciting Wait, dude she's so bait? pissed dude she has been the bait so many times too i don't know who i'm more afraid of the phantom or the fans after the phantoms attack last night i re-rigged my trap can you say bamboo tiger cage and punji stick um punji sticks we ride the wind and we feel the so is daphne lip syncing out there no then? she's actually singing I feel bad for the fans but this is awesome i know right <laughs> Shaggy, 
I'm blinded by all the glitter. <laughs> no! The cage has landed in the wrong place! You know, this is the second time now, Fred! I don't understand. How can this have happened? My trap, Daphne. I'm so confused. So we about to have another crisis where he digs at the floor. Nah, he's just gonna pace. Why, go ahead, Scooby Doo. It's all yours. Damn. If you don't, we're gonna have to find new best friends, right? Good idea. Wow. Oh. Get a hold of yourself, Fred. Be a man. Keep repeating. You're dead inside. <laughs> Why is there lotion on the? Bro, it'd be like that sometimes, though. This can only mean one thing. Sabotage. The trap malfunction wasn't my fault. What about that time in the cave? So Daphne. Ugh. I wish I didn't care about her. Oh, she about to die? I care about Daphne. <laughs> Daphne. And I heard every word, Fred. Wish you didn't care for Daphne, huh? Ooh, that's bad. Save it for your traps. I'm going on tomorrow, and I'm gonna rock. Damn. And they're just like, all right, it works. As long as Thorne doesn't get kidnapped, we're good. This is my new best friend, Harry. Hi. Harry. I love food, and I'll never leave Scooby for a girl. <laughs> Damn. Hmm. Is he finally going to figure it out? No, I, I genuinely do not think he is. I'm tired of being afraid. I have feelings, world. For traps and Daphne, I'm a guy no more. What? <laughs> what? what? I don't think Fred <laughs> understands words. <laughs> like, <laughs> guys don't have feelings, bro. I need to tell you something, and I need you to listen. I'm not a guy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go on tomorrow night. It's too risky. Don't tell me what to do, Fred. I can go on, and I will. Ladies. Damn. <laughs> But I'm not a guy! <laughs> right? <laughs> Are you doing sparkles? It's romantic! <laughs> Run, Harry! <laughs> Harry! <laughs> Worried about the fucking puppet! Holy! He, he grabbed the puppet! Um. Oh, is he just setting it on fire? Smart. Holy sh! Okay, this is actually attempted murder. Um. Yeah, I'd say uh, clear uh, clear cut case of attempted murder there. What's this? It's a piece of the Phantom's robe. Huh. Dude, I think I've seen this material before. <laughs> it's the guy. Is that is that their manager that was excited yeah. for them to be in the uh, stadium? Pray think I'm the phantom because I was Fancy Pants's manager. <laughs> Fancy Pants went down the rabbit hole after the record gods dumped him to make room for the hex girl. So he got dumped for the hex girls. Oh, I wonder who it could be. Oh, and of course she made a song about making traps. Yeah, they're oh. right. <laughs> yep. Yeah, of course. It's the only way to get his attention, right? Traps and snares. I mean, he uh, he he knows now because he's not a guy anymore. Come on, Fred. Put put two and two together, buddy. <laughs> Trap of love. What what is that? Look at this one too. I think I understand. I don't think do, he do understands. Do you, Fred? It do does you, exist. You stupid bastard. I don't think he he understands at all. That had to hurt. Oh, yeah. Daniel Presets? Or, like, should we call you Fancy Pants? The Phantom had to be someone close to the Hex Girls to access the stage. And the Hex Girls' equipment. Someone with a grudge against the Hex Girls. The Hex Girls took my career. I tried to get revenge by writing bad songs for them, but they can make anything a hit. <laughs> and I'd do it again if it weren't for the uncanny boy band knowledge of you meddling brats. Let's go. Uh huh. I thought your song was amazing. You did? But I'm also not going to hide the fact that I have feelings for traps and you. Call me a non-man if you want. <laughs> You're the one that made this up, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Sorry about Harry, Scoob. Him being stuck to Daniel and all and being taken to prison. <gasps> <gasps> hey, 
You're the only dummy I need, Shaggy. Really? <laughs> oh damn. Oh damn. Yeah, they're they're yeah. Ugh. It's coming, bro. I, you deserve I better, Velma. I still don't get why some people insist on dressing like pirates at a fair for night. They're so my lord this and my lady that. Joust me. Ooh, I've got the pox. How do you know she wasn't done drinking that? Yeah. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Hello? Are you getting got, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> what the f Dude, no. <laughs> what the f Whoa. Okay. Not the gnomes. It's him. Yeah. He killed the kid because he was wearing a, a pirate outfit. And oh. <laughs> he takes his job very serious. I told him not to worry about historical inaccuracies. More people, more money. Ow. All fair should be kept historically untainted. Otherwise, who knows what sort of shambling low lives will arrive. All right, never mind. She's involved too. Freddy, did you notice my outfit? <laughs> I don't even understand that question. Hey guys, look at this. I, I mean, love him so yeah. much. And it had horrible glowing green hair. Damn, and they're still just open for business like normal. Mayor Jones, Sheriff, what happened here? Nut. It just says nut underline. Wait, what? Where? <laughs> you didn't notice his paper? On his notepad, it literally just called her a nut. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing unusual, just a standard scary gnome attack. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude, they're just no, so no. chill about it. Dude, if I ever found a hat like oh. that, I'd never take it off. Huh? Bro, it's so creepy. Damn, he is actually incredibly creepy. Why is everyone so goddamn spry? He's so nimble. <laughs> like, dude, like Holy the shit. Phantom was running along the bus walls in like the last episode. Everybody's just like. This is what she get for being a pirate. <laughs> Wait. So she just took evidence from the body. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the police aren't so. No kissing in the alleyway. Fire's dangerous. I just want to point out, they're still open. Well, I mean, this is a movie theater, not, you know. Just put them in any open chair or at a room at the hospital. Bro, it's like they're doing they're doing with the victims like they did in Halloween Town, where they just hot them in the movie theater. Yeah, for real. We need to get in there and run some tests on those pirates. What are you talking about? You said you loved me. indicates the goo is a jellyfish toxin. Jellyfish oh. toxin? Precisely. The gnome is a jellyfish. I knew it. That should only last a few days. Like just long enough for the Royal Knights Fair to be over tomorrow. So our only clues are jellyfish toxin and an earring. And it's literally only happening to pirates, which they yeah. don't like at the Rin Fair. Like now's our chance, Scooby-Doo. Like there's no way this shit would still be open. They filled a movie theater with paralyzed people. I never let pirates in when I ran things. You ran things into the ground. You when said, huh? I ran in things. Charge. Married the rich queen, no. didn't you? Well, we'll see how long you stay in charge. Okay. Yeah, he is also a very short dude. I didn't realize how short he was until right then. Yo, this is a big mom incident, isn't it? My dares his gnome suit. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Wait, look. It looks like a pirate suit. A secret pirate. He loves being a pirate. Okay, <laughs> not him. Get the rest of the gang and save yourself, Scooby Doo. Oh. All right, Scooby and Velma, it's time to have your moment. Yep. Oh no. I miss him too. It's better that way. I can't believe I'm saying this about a dog, but he needs to quit being such a spoiled bitch. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> What's this? What's this? Hey gang, check it out. Raggy, <laughs> raggy. Looks like we've found Mr. Scary Gnome's private highway. And that means finally, it's trap time. 
how does it don't get down? Remember, Scooby, you're doing this for Shaggy. Scooby Dooby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He's so fast. He's making a run for it. Let's cut him off. It's like he's hopped up on sugar or something. Bro, he's I more believe than it's called sugar. Coke. You got the booger sugar, maybe. <laughs> yeah, dude. You got the booger <laughs> sugar, dude. Look at him go, dude. Look at him go. Uh, oh my I mean, god. Going, going by his teeth out. I'm gonna say math. Break. That man is more nimble than the spider person we were watching. Like, am I ever glad to see you? Oh sh. Uh, I'm they're glad bad. The I'm glad <laughs> the punchy sticks were <laughs> down there, dude. Jesus Christ. Damn, that's a strong ascot. That's some rich people clothes right there. <gasps> oh, bracelets. oh, the bracelets. Yo! He saluted. Let him touch some steel. Hell yeah. What the f <laughs> He's doing card this buff crazy. Bro, what? God oh. damn. Now let's see who you really are. Okay. Okay. But you're too tall. How could you ever be the gnome? There's a reason our family name is Littlefoot. What? And while I've always hid my tiny legs, this finally provided Wait, me a way. Wait, how did she not know? Since Amanda's dislike of pirates was well known, I planted her earring on a victim, hoping to throw suspicion her way. I used my Totsen-coated gloves to paralyze all the pirates. But you would not. Quit. I believe the medical term is baby legs. <laughs> that is until you. Uh, I believe it's considered short king. Yeah, yeah, Shrimpo, we got the picture. God damn. Boy, I damn, we just cool with that then, right? Him. Thanks for nothing. Again. Anytime, Pop. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I, I, I think, like, Fred's... Uh, Unawareness is just a coping mechanism at, at this point. It's, by, it's starting uh, to feel by, like it, man. By never being able to please his father, he, this is just how he deals with all that. Fred Jones, don't you dare throw anything at the poor without me. What? 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 Hey, dude, watch oh. it. I knew this motherfucker was involved somehow. Did they? Don't give up. This has all happened before. Wait, shut up. Shut the f up. Is it actually the it's mascot? It's definitely not the mascot. But it's the something mascot. Is up. 100%. Nope. It, I'm, I'm, taking, I'm you, taking the easy way out. It's reincarnation, man. The bird became Scooby. <laughs> I'm taking the easy way out. It's what, the bird what, that's what, what, for everything. What if we go through this entire series in the final episode, Scooby just unzips his dog suit and the bird <laughs> pops out? <laughs> it was me all along. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Ooh. I'm the villain. No, I think I'd be kind of mad. I don't even know how I'd feel about I, it. Oh, no, I would be pissed, bro. Like, I, I would be like, just so much. That would be kind of funny, though. I'm not going to lie. If my lips could only say the pretty words that I feel in my heart. So, we, what, are we back in the 30s now? What's going That's on That's what here? it feels like, bro. They record this in a closet. Into your face, my it's like the dude from Andy Griffith. That guy looks familiar for some reason. <laughs> oh! I am... Oh, oh sh that's a big dude. Jumongasaur. <laughs> Damn, they're in the bushes handing out back shots. That's crazy. Oh, bro, they were getting it. Oh, sh Velma and me were just doing a staring contest with our lips. Oh, my God. Um, I care for both of you equally. Oh, Shaggy, no. <laughs> it's me, isn't it? I said hurt his feelings, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> From what we've heard, whatever did this was big, green, and hairy. Uh, I just hope that thing sticks around and does some more stomping. It's him. You think? Uh, you don't think it's too obvious? I don't know. We'll see. Whoa. Oh, what the f- Damn. 
That escalated so quickly. Y'all need to get someone who's qualified to help folks in trouble. Because I'm only good at two things. Spinning records and being a stone cold fox. Hell yeah. Same, honestly, but you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to say Angel Dynamite's place is just the most vibe. I, I just, I want it yes. to a T. Where do I set up a smoker? Oh, hmm. that's awkward. You said this was a barbecue. I was going to make bacon. You telling me there's a pig in that police car? <laughs> Fred, Fred, if you weren't my boss's son, I would not hesitate to make you disappear forever. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> You see the way I'm looking at it? We need a group identity. I suggest we honor those that came before us. Mystery Incorporated. We getting serious now. Oh boy, Fred. Oh, these are it's certainly like, unique. I'm kind of about them. We've got some humongous Really? They look like they look like terrible power rangers. Well, we got to see. Yeah, bro. Look at this. <laughs> Let's Literally. go. Let's go. The super squad has arrived. It appears we have our suspect. Uh, I'm still here, you know. My second guess is the insurance guy, Max Yeah, that Minner. makes sense. Our goal is to go in, find proof that Rusty Nails is behind the humongous. <laughs> Rusty <Minner>. Nails, bro. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> yeah, no, I'd be the f out of there, bro. <laughs> Look out, gang! Nah, I'd be Damn, the f he is massive, out of there, bro. bro. <laughs> nah, I ain't dying today. Is going on out here. Yo! Oh! Bro, what the f I will say, the escalation of, like, people trying to murder each other in this show is it, definitely... It's, it's ramping up, right? Yeah. Like, God damn, dude. Um... Mr. E. To solve the mystery, do as follows. Open your eyes and look for the signs. Bro, what if yep. it's Angel Dynamite? It's the two brothers probably having some kind of feud because it's Jackson Max and they're both on the same billboard. What what if Mr. E is Angel Dynamite? See, I feel like who that... else think about it? You got radio equipment, you understand radios, you could tap into their car like that. You work in a radio station, so you could probably have some sort of voice changer thing on a Bob thing. And because they're always hanging out there, you know everything question to like, tap into someone's how did you know that? like that how did right? you know how did you know scooby talk like that maybe he's got the van bugged i mean maybe that's a good point but like, i'm just saying bro to, I don't to know. even to tap into someone's radio like that means that you have to be putting out those those radio waves right, right? So like that means like other people also pick up on potentially that potentially. message not if it's right? like a private one i don't know unless you know angel dynamite sneaking under the car also a car mechanic person I don't know how radio waves work, man. I mean, look, I, and to be clear, I'm not saying Angel Light of Mind up to no good. I mean, Mr. E is kind of helping them along, I feel like. But I don't know. It's just a radio thing. And then knowing what Scooby's saying like, just makes me wonder if it's somebody. But then again, I guess, you know what? We did kind of think it was their family. And I guess that also would work. Their family would also have that knowledge and access to. Minus, well, no, his dad's the mayor. You know what? I don't know anymore, dude. What's the plan? We fill Crystal Cove Stadium with lots of valuable loot and invite the beast there to stomp it. That plan's worse than something me and Scoob would come up with. Right, Man. buddy? Yeah. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> God damn! Jesus, man. Can I just say, also, every villain in this show so far has been so incredibly athletic. Yeah, dude. Like, like, like look they've at been this, bro. wall running and shit. Like, yo, my man's about to just absolutely I mean, it's got to be robots, right? This guy. Like, we, we've seen them use robots before. And, like, anytime I see this crazy ass, I feel like it's got to be robots at this point. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, maybe get out of the boat. They're, like, actually fighting. Maybe they're brothers at odds in the insurance game. Right? It's probably both of them. Like, one is minor, one is the other guy. The other guy started, and he was like, F you, I'm going to do it, too. Dude! Get him with a boat! Dude! He slammed a whole ass boat <laughs> on him. <laughs> Dude. All right, and they're underwater, so I'm assuming robot ruled out. It actually worked. I'm afraid these two aren't space travelers, Sheriff. Damn, she just had a I thing of steps ready, huh? Max Minner and Jax Minner. Oh. This intense dislike started back when we were circus strongmen. All right, this explains the athleticism. 
We had just come up with a great idea for our act. We became bitter enemies. Both went into the insurance business here in Crystal Cove. <laughs> it was... <laughs> and it would have worked too if it weren't for my meddling brother. Why you? you? <laughs> Holy. Well, we may have solved the mystery, but there's still one more question that needs to be answered. Oh damn! I think both of y'all just need to get over it. Me or Scooby? Like it's a blue humongous. Run for your lives! <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> The thing I'm excited about this is because I know at some point Velma and Scooby have to have like a bonding episode and I'm just oh, yeah. ready for it. But it, it is kind of funny where it's like, bro, your dog is so jealous that He's it's so ruining jealous. the relationship. Willard, you know I can't drink that much coffee. It aggravates my plumbing. My plumbing. Give me more. Give me more. Oh. Um. What? Holy sh is that you know it's not real like they all had guns you're telling me these cops didn't shoot not one pulled the trigger come on scooby didn't get his scooby snacks no he did not i think it's a scooby gremlin episode i would he love ate that. after midnight <laughs> became a oh my demon yeah dog. it's time you made a choice dog or me yeah oh Oh hell what? no! Oh hell no! He just oh. keyed that car. All those jocks and populars cower when faced with my mechanical menace. I think they're gonna beat your ass, man. Is that her brother? <laughs> oh, good question. Uh, uh, this is Jason. Oh, he's just one of them. Okay, never mind. We use the same toolbox, and once she touched my knuckle. Little help. Tell him you've already committed your heart to a very special boy. Fred's gonna love him. Velma has super important mystery incorporated stuff to do. All right. So he's the villain of this episode. I don't know what, but. Yep. Oh, maybe the tour isn't over. I'm pretty sure it is. Or I would have charged you more. <laughs> yeah, I'd be mildly concerned to say the least. It's wearing a Scooby Scooby collar. Yo, did did Robot Nerd make a Scooby robot to uh, oh frame them? Oh my him? God, you're probably right. Only a crime, and you, tough guy, are under arrest. <gasps> what? What? <laughs> Damn! Wait, Dude, wait. he slammed him up against the car. Also, I'm pretty sure dog arms don't bend that I way. I know. Welcome to the Crystal Cove Animal Asylum for the Criminally Insane. Oh my god. That's a diabolical monkey right there. Somehow, some way I will get you out of here. Even if I have to break this joint wide open. God. Damn right, Shaggy. Shaggy said I'ma burn this mother to the ground. Mystery incorporated to the rescue. He spoke. Oh, is it the bird? Oh <laughs> my god. This was the parrot who believed. He looks like a Bond villain's bird. Free your hand, which mysteriously has become duct tape to your stun gun. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> what? what is happening? I don't know. Also, Birdo Lottie got more head than he got body. That thing's noggin is huge. That's enough. I'll take care of you. Really? No. Come on, kids. Dude, he's a bird. Put an air freshener in there and he'll <laughs> die. Like, <laughs> oh. My Jason. oh, Jesus oh, Christ. No. Come right in. <gasps> oh, God. This servo leg joint is exactly the same kind we have in our robotics club. And you had the perfect motive to break up Mystery Incorporated so I would spend more time with you. You would accuse me of such a thing? Yeah. yeah. Get out, get out, get out, and never return. <laughs> oh my god holy sh bro <laughs> oh my oh my god I his heart was broken uh, man he needed them cookies uh. uh good job missing boys yeah what kind of aim do they no, have they're, they're hitting it oh terminator let's go Oh, that's nightmare fuel. That Holy. is horrifying. Alrighty then. This is it. 
end of the line. Nah, it's gonna not hurt Velma. Oh, oh. yo! What? He just a hero, Jesus. This is awesome. We got Terminator. We got aliens. We got we got we got some we got all the movie callbacks, bro. Play dead. Oh, yo, it's definitely the moms. Yeah. I don't remember yeah. what shoes she was wearing or if we even saw them, but damn. And your culprit is. Yep. Mom. Has got it going on. I saw how you treated my Jason at school. It's called I psychotic mother. Demonic robot dog to destroy you. Being away from Scooby, it's made me realize how much he means to me. I don't think I'm ready for a girlfriend right now. But oh. we can still be friends. Oh, he's going to... No, no. The boy I love picks a dog over me? <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, it's about to go down. I got a text message. It's from Mr. E. Damn, Scooby really dumped Velma. Follow the parrot. Shaggy. Shaggy, yeah, my bad. That's wild, bro. That is oh, not the direction I thought we were going, bro. In. Especially not the demonic bird of death. Yeah, the the bird thing came as a shock, but I'm gonna go ahead and say right now. I will say, if a girl ever was like, "Hey, get rid of your dogs," or 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 I'm leaving, well, I, I would at least was... give her the money for the Uber home. I I um, don't think she was asking him necessarily to get rid of the dog, though. I think it was more. No, just no, she like, wasn't asking. Uh, but no, like, I mean, can, like, can, can no we choice have... like that? Yeah, it is a it is a to, weird to... way to phrase it for sure. So, so oh dude, roller derby is nuts this spooky that guy again do i hear five dollars <laughs> damn bunch of really brokies in this town three dollars no, really this thing is creeping is that out just is that at it. are they not bidding on it for a reason i want it <laughs> oh give me that thing <laughs> Bro, <laughs> Eli, take okay, whatever you well, want. No, I'm out. No one else wanted it. Go ahead, take it. Oh. The vampire's gone. Okay. The oh, who cares? Nobody Booby was bidding Nosferatu on it anyways. Stole the painting, dude. Yeah, li literally, no one bid it on it. So yeah, like, like, who why cares, bro? Yeah, we'll never recoup that three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not solving any mystery if he's going to be there. We can't split up until we get to a haunted amusement park <laughs> or a terrifying. Okay then, uh, we'll be splitting up. <laughs> yep, splitting up. Huh? Where's your mom going at this hour? Where are you going? I'm just running out to the grocery store to get some uh pate. Yeah, pate. Right. The lady at the blood bank said they haven't seen. What the Fred? Exactly. Why? <laughs> what? Oh no, I just snagged a red punch juice box and spilled some. They've got tongues hanging all over the place. Red punch Fred, juice box? What the fuck? <laughs> I can't handle him, dude. Uh, I'm drink, starting drink to a think blood the pack. actual villain is Fred. <laughs> And he's just putting, <laughs> it's his own, like, he, he is just he, putting, he, through, is he is putting them through all of this for his amusement. You think he's Mr. He, e? He, no, he's Mr. E's boss. He's oh, the one to, giving the mysteries to him for them to solve while he's just in the literal driver's seat <laughs> watching everything happen around him. Right. And he's just making them fucking dance genius. puppets. He's the secret genius. Somebody's coming. Well, Velma and uh, Daphne about to get trapped. Yep. Gotcha. Hit the lights. Uh -oh. She wasn't mad before. They are going to be now. That's going to hurt. Oh. You look nice. <laughs> Save it. What was that? She here for that ribeye. Give me that steak, boys. Oh. Oh, God. Ooh, that music. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, who's it now? Oh, Jesus Christ. I think I found what we're looking for. Countess Hagula's youth juice. This is it. Our vampire must be trying to make some youth juice. Good work, Daphne. <laughs> A Chateau La Rouge Crimson Ruby Rose Bordeaux 1911. The crab net of Dr. Calamari. Oh, my God. If we're going to get in, we'll have to look the part. The crab net of Dr. Calamari. Yeah, it's ba based off the... Uh, Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. It's an old uh, horror film. Ah. No reason to get all bad about it. The sheriff thinks I have something to do with these vampire attacks. 
Thank goodness Sheila was here. All right, it's Sheila. Think about it. She could use a youth potion. And she's creepy. Not behind this. Oh my god. I did not expect it to look like that from the outside. Yo, my man got a reverse Stewie Griff. Never mind. Bone to ear. <laughs> what is my mom doing here? Eating dinner. Guys, we have to work as a team if we're going to catch Daphne's mom. And <laughs> she's an undead bloodsucker. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Fred. Bro, I love him so much. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that wine will be mine. Kind of looks like her, too. How was I supposed to know we'd get locked in by your mom? <laughs> More ingredient, and I will have eternal youth. You're making a drink from a magazine, you dumb. Bro, can you imagine like reading that and just being like, I'm this gonna become evil. This, this is it. This is it, y'all. Nothing but smooth skin after this. Yeah, the best part about the painting is you could have just walked your eyes in. What? Bid what two bucks? You could have bought it for three bucks. Like, like yep. you could have bought it for three dollars. Like, the Jesus. only thing that made sense to steal was the wine because it would be expensive. <laughs> oh no, mom, it is you. Oh. Finally, I will have the eternal youth. Oh, I don't think so, cool friend. That one is a fake. Deploy the second. Why wouldn't you just not say anything? <laughs> My second trap is a gun. <laughs> Mom, your vampiring is tearing this family apart. I'm going to have to stake you. Um, f what? <laughs> Yo, do it. Sheila no yeah. way. Who would have thought? Wow. This is all your mother's fault. We're the same age, but she's so beautiful. She must be a vampire. Oh, so you're just a psychopath. The Dinkley shop to do a little research. That I, was I, 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 young and beautiful forever. You see, in college, I majored in zoology and acrobatics, studying the habits of flying squirrels. <laughs> what? Studying the habits of flying squirrels. What's going on here? Mom! Oh, even now she's stealing my moment. <laughs> Why have you been sneaking out? I didn't want to say anything, but I'm cheating on your father. Oh, I'm getting my public notary degree. Oh, yes. At a muse. Knowledge is the key to true beauty. Okay. I have to figure out what a notary is before tomorrow's final exam. So I don't. She's been taking her. night classes yeah, to be a notary, but has no idea what a notary is. At a museum. Something name right here. Well, see you guys. Awkward. I'm um, good night, Norville. Damn. Okay, creepy ass. As he just slowly backs into a tree. Right? Like, he's, like, he's like watching these kids in as fun as it used to be. <laughs> the beast that hath no name? You're actually reading this? Chargar Gothicon. He says he's just writing what demons from dark dimensions tell him. Please, wait until Harlan Ellison speaks here next week. He's a real writer. How can Professor Haycraft name the creature in the title then say it has no name? Cthulhu! Oh, it's Cthulhu! Oh, Scoop damn! Cthulhu. All right, how y'all explaining this, bro? Oh, he's uh, dead. He's got a megaphone no in way. his... Bro, you have a spine of steel. Mouth. Yeah, it's a megaphone that uh, uh, he also has a forklift that, that allows him to flip the cars. Who are you? Uh, hi, I'm Fred Jones Jr. Fred! I'm Rhino! God. So, uh, what do you guys do here? Study, party? Work out. When you're in college, male and ripped, there's only one thing to do. Wrestle! Oh, oh, um, oh okay. Okay, then. Yeah, this doesn't really seem up Fred's alley. I ain't gonna lie. My name is Howard E. Roberts, and my favorite writer is one of our professors, and I was wondering if you could compare your work to his masterpiece, The Shrieking Madness of Chargar Gotham. You mean H.P. Hatecraft? Hatecraft? Hatecraft is, at best, a literary fraud, a con man, at worst, a dirt smear in the diaper of literature. <laughs> James, kind of Holy shit. Like a mega d bro. Hatecraft this, hatecraft that. So, Bro. Cthulhu's hate craft, right? Yes. Yep. It would seem that way. Well, I'll tell you, real guys love craft, but, you know. Please help me already. Help! How are they the only ones that came running for that? Because <laughs> everybody, nobody else is running towards help. 
Bro, the screeches are tearing holes in the ground. Okay? Like, okay? I've been violated by a figment of a fantasist fabricated falsehood. What if, like, like, were used in like... You're the worst! Nobody likes people like you! Professor Hatecraft? Oh, by the tendrils of Shupshire. Abraham Lincoln? We're sorry, Professor. We're big fans who wanted to meet you. My work translating the demon summoning chants written in these evil tomes. Oh. Student assistant alphabetizes for me. You think like. Oh, so she's student assistant. Cool. Yeah, probably. Stop! You might accidentally unleash another demon. Oh, that's just fan mail. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Working to solve this mystery? Damn. Oh, bro. Uh, uh, what the bro? Dude. <laughs> um, what? Hey, Craft, you have to run. Were you spying on us? Yes, I wanted to see if you were telling the truth. And by the talons of Fong Shui Narbiscus, you were. I have no <laughs> dark truth about Char Gar Gothicon. My fans, I made it up. Char Gar Gothicon. There is no Char Gar Gothicon. I made the whole thing up. It can't be true. Who is forcing you to lie like this, Professor <laughs> Hayden? I think we've made our point. I think he's going to eat your head. No, never mind. Holy oh, shit. He just kidnapped him, dude. <laughs> Into his own house? Somebody save me! Like, is it kidnapping if it's in your own house? <laughs> you might need this for the trap. Great find, Dad. Hey, you know, we make a pretty good team, don't we? Uh-huh. It's like we know each other's thoughts. Hey, guess what I'm thinking now? Traps. Are you thinking about me? I'm not thinking about anything. My mind is a complete void. Good try, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Bless his sweet, stupid heart. I thought Shaggy was right behind us. Mm -hmm. You're worried? It is crazy, though. I knew so many people that were oblivious around, you know, just certain cues or whatever. Yeah. Chargar got the gun. Stay away, you demon. Fuck, those candles are a fire hazard. Oh, he gonna throw him off the roof. Oh, whoa. You get thrown off your own roof. Yeah, that would be pretty embarrassing. Oh, holy sh! Bro, this is straight attempted murder. Damn. And they saved the monster. This is no monster. It's Howard E. Roberts, Hatecraft student assistant and biggest fan. Okay. Someone had to defend the professor against his critics. And what better way than to dress as his great- You tried to kill him! I'd taken a class in the military application of sonic shriek technology at the learning annex. Damn, that learning annex is, um, pretty f dangerous. <gasps> Darrow University Library? Wait, aren't those the archives the news said were stolen? Wow, this looks like the entire history of Crystal Cove. Gang, I think one mystery just turned into two. Okay. I was wondering if because he said the meddling kids, I, I was curious if that was going to be like a turning point. Like things are going to shake up. Yeah. Because right they haven't been saying it. Interesting. I've been vibing with this, though. I like the continuous story. Like, cause I, I, mean, yeah. I don't know. Maybe Scooby-Doo had that in the past, but I don't remember it ever having not, like, a continuous story. No, no. Not, not too much from what I remember. I don't know. Scooby-Doo, like, back in the day, felt like one of those shows that, like, you could just drop into whatever episode. Yeah, and they're just and solving it make, some it, random Yeah, mystery. and, it would, you know, it's like that weekly kind of thing. But, like, I love it. it, it this is a mix of that, right? Mm -hmm. Where it's like there's just of that no overarching theme. It's keeping the story progression like at a really good pace, but also it's one of those that if you were new to it and you just hop into this episode, mm -hmm. like I don't feel like you would have missed like so much that you know you'd be completely lost, other than like when a talking bird probably shows up again, Dude, probably up a little, right? Yeah. Honey, what's wrong with your <laughs> honey? Oh my <laughs> god, Damn, bro! And He got so damn. All right, bro. Right on, right on. How dare you prank call a rich man? Go suck a lemon. One of those cicada thingies. I 
uh, windshield wiper. Yeah, I'm waiting for it to cut through the glass, bro. I was I was waiting for like another robot cicada uh, situation, oh. right? Oh boy. Yeah, I'd be I'd be mildly concerned. Oh, oh my god, I would drive my car off that. I'd cliff. rather burn alive. I'd rather be buried alive. I would rather uh, drown. I I would rather stick my finger in electric socket. I would Dude, rather slide by cables. Squash my in a sliding glass door instead of this. Like absolutely not. This is the worst it could ever be. Ever. I I I, I hate bugs, dude. Oh damn! That's great. A so, uh, so is that the villain then? Nah, it's too early. They're too easy. <laughs> Isn't he fast? As grubs, they burrow into the ground where they spend the next seventeen years. I'm sorry. I do have to point out the entire idea that he is sitting in a classroom in a desk eating snacks normally. Yeah. But like, it, no, I'm just saying though. He's an like, emotional sport dog. He, uh, is he though? Yes. Like, it seems like yes. he's actually just in. School. Now he's an emotional sport dog. Nature slivers are manufactured by Destroido, and every bite you take supports the biggest polluter in Christmas. It's him. Blue. He's the back. Yeah, bro. Keep your politics out of school. Ah. Uh, uh, it's a note for Mr. E. He says there's a mystery waiting. That for concerns me. How did he know that Shaggy'd be eating that one, not Scooby? Uh, eating that bag. <laughs> How many of his notes has he eaten? <laughs> you know, like for real. <laughs> He's already revealed his identity to him like six times. Shaggy just keeps eating the note without realizing <laughs> yeah. it. Yes. I was just kind of wondering. Just if maybe, say it, you buddy. Know, like to uh, go on a d d d d a date, a real date. Yo, I'm happy she at least like helped him out there. There's a new trap exhibit at the museum. For a minute, I thought you meant it. Damn. Mm. He's like, then what he do said, you I don't love? understand, but trap. It's so funny that her and Fred are basically in the almost exact same situation as Velma and Shaggy. Except it's just Scooby it's is traps, traps and Scooby. <laughs> yeah. Like... You again. I'm taking a shower. Stop calling. <laughs> <laughs> why you got a why you got a phone in your bathroom, dog? Yep. Oh, the door's conveniently locked too. Oh! Oh! No! Okay, now I got the ick. Like over the eye. What the f after I sold my company to Destroido, Hugh here has been instrumental in making them so popular among young people. It's her. Yeah, they took her company from her. Yep. She's pissed. Oh, my dog boy, you pressed the wrong button. This is the basement. No, I didn't. She called him dog boy. Heed it. I'm heeding that warning. Yeah. I don't care what it says. I think I'm I've decided this is none of my business. I'm naked, run around downtown. I don't care. I'm heeding the warning. Let's go. You're making a big mistake, Fred. Big mistakes is what I do. <laughs> Watch out for his weapon, gang. No doubt he's got the cicada under some sort of brain control. You know exactly what's going on, girlfriend stealer. <laughs> girlfriend? Really? Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, that is great. What? Yeah, I would just walk away. Grab yeah, your ball and go, dude. I, don't I, don't I, even yeah. why, why even address no, the hole. No, 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 I know you have problems expressing your feelings. I'd like you to be my boyfriend too, and I'd be honored to go to the trap exhibit with you. Oh? Aww. Yeah. Oh. What Frederick. are you doing? Frederick. What's that noise? Oh. Yo, Fred said. F <laughs> Man, beat the f out of the drywall to get through. Dude. There was, can we just, there was zero hesitation. Oh, no, dude, not at all. Yeah, he was like, no, nope, we're gone. We're gone. <laughs> just, just gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna beat my way through this wall. Yeah. Papa! back to the mystery machine! You got like a giant industrial bug zapper. Close! It's, it's the vacuum from Hunter Hunter. Oh Grandma Moonbeam. Grandma yep. Moonbeam. 
I recognize that oh, dump truck. It. Knew it. You're the cicada creature? But why? Isn't it obvious? I wanted to shut down Destroido. Mm. I found out they added a secret ingredient to make nature's slivers more tasty. Landfill uh -huh. waste. And corn syrup. Wait, 11%? 12%? They put pollution in the food? Yeah, and people were okay with that? To control penguins' movements, I decided to adapt Damn, the idea smartest. for my revenge. Well, now it's the big house for you, Grandma. Let's go. <sighs> Why can't anything in this town ever turn out to be real? <laughs> so there's like a documentary where it's like the guy that started Burt's Bees claims like that same thing. Really? Mm-hmm. Just if you guys want to check that out. Sorry, Ugh. but Fred and I are going to have to pass. We've got a date. Me and Trapney are going out. How long do you think we'll be stuck in this trap? Well, the cleaning crew usually gets in around nine, so it should only be... How does he know? <laughs> How many times has this happened to him? The blood rushing to my head. <laughs> he's just... He's just... What? <laughs> That's... I, I, that was I, awesome. So wait, let, let me get this straight. They snuck into the trap museum. Yeah, right. I'm assuming so. And, and then they got I, caught in a trap in the museum. But in he the knows trap when museum. they come in in the morning to clean. So but this he, is not the first time he's ever been trapped in that museum. In that museum. Yeah, you're, I mean you're not wrong. <laughs> I, I, I can't argue that. Find what you love, and you'll never work a day in your life. The Mystery Solver State Finals is tomorrow. Whoever wins will be declared the best mystery solving team and go on to compete in the Olympics. I don't think that's right. Well, I'm sure the prize will be something big and great. I'm sorry, Fred, <laughs> but we can't go to the finals with Scooby <laughs> sick like this. Of course not. Will you excuse me a second? He's about to go blow a cloud of amphetamine. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Scooby. I got just what you need. <laughs> And he just comes back. Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, no, no, no big deal. It's like, bro, it's like when you go into a bathroom to be pissed off for a little bit and then come back out. Okay. So, you guys should go without me. No, you're part of the team, Scooby. What good are we without our sidekick? Bro, she's loving it. Let's let him get some sleep. Yeah, they look so gross covered in soup, bro. Yeah. I mean... What the f is he? Uh, is this the Jetsons? It must have been that chicken soup. That is a wild ass kitchen, bro. Oh, look, the art style. Mystery Solvers Club. Style. Oh, it's it's what different. It's like it's like the old Scooby Doo. Yeah, it's the old art style. What? Yeah, uh, even the mystery machine looks different. Yeah, is, Scooby's having a fever dream, huh? Oh, it's the shark. Yeah. That guy's just shaggy. Like, he looks just like shaggy. Uh, yeah, I dude, I don't did, remember any of these dudes' names, but I remember watching these cartoons. Did, I'm the Funky Phantom, and this is Boo. Okay, I did not think he said Funky. No. We Captain Caveman. Please. Captain K, I, dude, I knew it was Caveman something. You're doomed. Ooh. Okay. I'm Lord Infernicus. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> Hell yeah. Lord Infernicus. <laughs> Holy sh are hidden somewhere in this building bro he's gotta be dreaming if you try to leave or call for help you'll never see them again you have until sunrise to find them <laughs> so this has got to be part of the entertainment right that's the school's communication tower my predecessor principal scrim installed it in a damn my school barely had internet yeah. what um he just going in <laughs> Um, bro, what? <laughs> it looks so ridiculous, bro. <laughs> so a giant flame skull monster guy just turned everyone into guinea pigs. Yo, Scooby is the MVP, though. It really is. Can you hear me? Oh, better not shaggy. <laughs> Give it up, Scooby Doo. I'm a ghost from the revolution. You're a dog. Hello. A little more street cred here. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to trust the dog over somebody what? from the revolution. Why yep. being from the revolution give you more street cred? <laughs> you barely had streets back then. Lord Infernicus. Get it right. This design is actually fucking awesome. Yeah, no, it's awesome. So, is Infernicus just a sidekick then? Damn. Yeah, that's that's why of... he's taking offense to that? I, I guess so. Time is running out, sidekick. Give up. <laughs> and so is Look at this. Hey, what's it say? Well, a ship 
Living from Crystal Cold Box. It's outside the school. We can't leave. I love that this car basically is just beatboxing. Like, that is his voice. Literally, yeah. He, uh, he's Boxed. a beatboxing vehicle. <laughs> to be fair, I've had cars that make noises, though. <laughs> oh! She just... It's working. Not for long. No communication until the mystery is solved. You will pay the price. Violence. He's like, back up, back up. Your beatboxing won't save you oh. now. Oh. Yo, it looks like he just really landed pretty. upside down on those ladies. It did look like that, yeah. Speedy He's too heavy to lift out of there. Does he need oxygen to live? I guess so. <laughs> Wait, since when do pools have emergency valve, bro? Come on. <laughs> oh. Scooby dog. We got the communications tower working. Dog. We found the clue. Now. She just uh, got no. a whole drawer. Sh bro. He's getting away. <laughs> Get away from my ship, you pathetic mackerel. We're going to throw fireballs at a fish in water. Ah! Uh, violence! That's what, that's what really sunk the Titanic. <laughs> yeah, this is that actually how the Titanic. It was uh, yeah. Captain Cable. Wait, he could yeah. fly this entire time. Yeah. yeah, this man came prepared though. I like respect. Where is he taking them? I've got a plan. What? Away. What? <laughs> he got out of the. <laughs> Why? How? How? Uh -huh. <laughs> what? what the fuck? Wait, is that guy supposed to be Shaggy? He, he I have looks no idea. Just like him. Although it was a pretty I mean, it's all Hanna Barbera characters, I guess. The it was pretty obvious, right? No. But why? I've been a c the whole time. I wanted to headline. I wanted to be the boss. That's when I stumbled upon the Mystery Solvers State Finals. I had workshop my Lord Infernicus character at various What? <laughs> been a hit. Uh huh. I then There's created a... the ruse with the guinea pigs, sewing each of their tiny costumes by hand, using the actual vintage fabrics of their real life counterparts, just to throw you off track. What the? Perfect. You lied to me, bro. Whoa! What? That was <laughs> velvety smooth. Dude, his voice is just so great. You've been delirious for days. But the mystery solver finals. Oh, we blew that off. You know we'd never go without you. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> why? 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 Oh, Fred. <laughs> oh, Fred. I have to say, after now seeing it, I definitely like the Mystery Ink style more. Hello, how you doing? Good to see you. The f***ing Phantom? <laughs> the f***ing Phantom. <laughs> To Delaware, was it something I said? <laughs> it's just so yeah, weird. It's such yeah, a weird like, introduction sure, to the bro. show. I like that they did the transition though with the art styles. Well, because thinking about it, like trying to do the new Mystery Ink art style with those old characters, it would have looked a off. Like they, they, imagine trying to do that with Captain Caveman, like all the hairs that he has. Yeah, trying to did, add yeah. quality to that. Good, good luck. Like, hey, the muffin, how about you and me go for a moonlight ride? You're like, it's the afternoon. Stink of desperation. Oh, shit. You don't know what you're missing. My stink of desperation's awesome. Oh. Oh. Hi, buddy. What do we have here? Seriously, what do we have here? <laughs> <laughs> Joey Ramon? Are the wild fruit. Oh. And this is our most terrifying leader, Oddnarb the Powerful. Oddnarb? To a rebel without a cause? Roadhouse is spanker territory. Man, so that is... Unless you want a mouthful of spanker. <laughs> yeah, you want a mouthful of spanker? He about to let loose the hanky spanky. Bro. Oh. Yeah, oh, they even have the cricket bat as a damn... Bro, they would have been more menacing if the gang name was Handjob. 
bro. Yeah. Nope, y'all idiots. I ain't fighting with the green goblin. I guess you could say the spankers got uh, spanked. <laughs> Daphne and Fred deserve a little privacy. I mean, why did Fred drag us along on this date if he wasn't going to feed us? Wow. Oh. them along? Oh, no. We're all friends, right? And friends hang together, right? Oh, Freddy. Daphne, I didn't mean... Oh, look at that. I need a refill. Damn. Fred, you'll never impregnate her at this rate. Hold it right there, leather-wearing creepy. <laughs> there are no monsters or monster-like creatures allowed in public areas. Why? Monsters? Is that what you squares think we are? Yes. They gonna bust into song? And you'll see a reflection of your own dark soul. Wow, he's different. Damn. The real monsters here are living inside of you. Ooh, so deep. Would you like to come with us? She's going with him. Yes. Yes, Damn. I would. He's like, I also think traps are stupid. Delighted. Damn. All right, all right. Daphne, you can't just go with them. Thanks for the refill. <laughs> Yo, Shaggy just got kicked to the. <laughs> he uh huh. Yeah, we got knocked back by dust. Ooh. Do you believe in love at first sight? In your case, no. Damn. Oh, I like, mean, at I least she's at least she's out of you more. Uh, be honest, I suppose. Yo, they just gonna have what? There's literally gonna be a cinder block wall between a rocket launcher and and just. Yeah, I got answers and I want some questions. Questions about what? Daphne, stop fighting us. We're here to help you. What? What has that monster done? <laughs> I don't even know her. <laughs> Night and a very dangerous weapon was stolen. It was one of your monster biker friends who did it. That's impossible. Velma and I were with them at their campsite on the beach the whole time. You went camping with monsters? I... <gasps> oh, Fred. Man down. Oh, my God. There's our man. What's this? A clue? It's a napkin from Chen's Internet Cafe and Tea House in Chinatown. Crystal Cove has a Chinatown? Oh. You think you think that How did Shaggy, Shaggy not Scooby know would about know? this? This crazy double shot espresso kills, brother. Now finish your drinks and get out. You are scaring my customers away. Is that what's his name's dad from Kung Fu Panda? Yes. Hello, mystery. Oh. Damn, he's just going to do it in front of everybody, huh? Looks like you could use a clue. It's some kind of dancing bug, I think. <laughs> oh my god. If I can hack into the central mainframe, I'm in. No! What the f There's like uh, eight of you sitting there! Yeah, how did. Uh, you're gonna tell me two people are gonna go missing in front of everyone? The clue is Sword Nose. Velma? Scooby? They're gone. That's right on. It was wearing like the same gloves and everything. Oh my god! You're going to help me reroute the train through Crystal Cove. And if I don't? I drop the dog. Oh yeah, dude, wrong person to kidnap for that. Got it! No more demonstration needed. She still cares about Scooby. Velma said drop his ass. Shaggy is mine. To get Shaggy back, all I have to do is refuse to help. But there's no way I'm going to take it. Even though you stole my boyfriend. <laughs> stole? It's just, you know, like he picked the dog over her. I think that's, you know. It's always been shaggy and stupid. Now let us go. See ya. Oh. Can't steal something, you know. Holy sh, dude. <laughs> Jesus. If only gravity worked that way. What are they doing in there? It was another monster biker. Oh, come on. Another one. <laughs> and he made me route a train through Crystal Cove. Swordfish is a super secret new video game platform. It's being shipped on a guarded train for a big unveiling ceremony. How do you know that? Because we're the video game programmers who designed it. All right. So Daphne has been... Why dress up like monsters? We do it to blow off steam. He's like, also, do you see the acne? When you're a geek and it's all people see, it's better to wear a mask. Dude. Damn. Thank you. Yo, that's so f***ed up. He said, damn, y'all ugly as fuck. Let's get him. Hey, I was going to say that. <laughs> Sorry, Oddnarb. I got this one. Okay. Damn. Damn, bro. He's... Okay, he committed a terrorism. Like... Uh, yo, for real. Like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Jesus Christ. Dude. Wouldn't it just... 
Damn, Frederick. <laughs> they lit it was literally up, terrorism, like an act yeah, of terrorism. Yeah, literally. He blew up a bridge and then crashed a train off of a train. The that was close. Yeah, well, maybe you guys should have ran to the other side of the cart. See who was trying to give the wild brood a bad name. Of course. Another D. Finkus. Like who's Maxwell? I just got done playing Grand Theft Auto. Maxwell, why? You all thought you were so cool. You never let me join in the beta testing of any of your new video games. So I sought my revenge. I mean, that's you were, that's what you were hired to do, man. All I had to do was steal a rocket launcher, grab someone to hack a computer to divert the train. Yeah, he also tried to kill Velma. You know, let's also yeah. not forget that. Seriously? Overkill, huh? That train landed on someone below the bridge, by the way. That's murder. <laughs> Maybe one last ride. I'll let you hang on to my jacket. No, thanks, Odd. But my heart has always been with Fred. <laughs> Plus, I now see that you're actually ugly, so I'm just right. going to go with Fred. Yes! In your face, Odd Narber. She digs me. She digs me! <laughs> I love Fred, Fred, though, man. I really do. <laughs> He's just so ridiculous. He's a sweet boy. He means well. She digs me! Fred missed another match. What'd he get? Trapped? I didn't even know Fred played soccer. Hey, he can't do that. Damn. That's, that's, how that's many how that... people are in the bleachers? This is bogus. Food fight! Yeah, I get it. Well, what if I just... What? Ah. Uh... so much. Oh, damn. Everybody about to make out? What? I love everything. I'm concerned here. Yeah, that that not at all. Tears are just the beginning. Oh, she be looking like Odd Narb's like pale sister. Like hey there, substitute. Damn, bro. <gasps> Damn, her boobs are the same shape as pointy shoes. <laughs> Shaggy, what's wrong with you? Class has started. Damn, really good heart. That's the most wrong. It's like contagious. Something ain't right here. Mm -mm. Ecstasy's a hell of a drug, fellas. I know, it, it almost feels like that's what's happening. Does it not work because he's a dog? Sorry, ugly lady. Not <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Get him! <gasps> Bro, it looks like she died four years ago and no one told her. Nah, we could talk all kinds of shit on her looks. It doesn't matter. Let's be real, it's a mask. <laughs> That is true. Nobody can get mad at us. Bring him. Is she using like bee pheromones or some shit? I don't to, like, know. control people? Some sort of pheromones, right? Like she watched it on Nat Geo. <laughs> Run down that mangy mongrel. Holy sh yes, <laughs> You must be Oh! Oh, let's go! Damn, it's time, boys. I'm here to help. I know what you are thinking. Why would I ever deign to help those who locked me up like a common beast? I've got the scar, Eastern European accent. Nothing bad can surely happen. I will not let my home be destroyed by some tarded up hippie. Will you help me? Hmm. Yeah, f it. The antidote to stop Aphrodite has several distinct components. Futa, found in drought use only in stained glass windows of the 18th century. Smart little f bird, ain't you? And finally, Rose Quartz. Steven's mom? Steven's mom? The antidote is complete. <laughs> you think you can stop me? Um, okay. It's wild. They're like literally just like zombies. Like little f hippie zombies. Bro, she's like if you checked Crip Keeper on Match.com. Oh, that can't be good. Quick, save the last one. <laughs> okay. I still don't think Pericles is up to any good, though. No. What? Is that a turret? Yo, my man got a jizz cannon. It does seem like it. <laughs> Are they dating? I don't know. Love it when you build those I think it's like a whoever you look at first type situation. I know, but... no, I just, I, I'm just wondering though. Oh, yo, just. Awkward. <laughs> Oh, yeah, right. They are always together, though. Yeah. Fred, you're not in the love anymore. <laughs> they were roommates. <laughs> what the f? 
You guys ever seen body snatchers before? They shall be offered up as a sacrifice to the goddess of love. Me! What y'all waiting for? Oh! Yo! Move it or lose it, Pete. How is Let's she go? immune to it? Because Angel Dynamite's she... always yeah, in, in the goddamn working, studio alone. <laughs> no! Get them, you fool! The only thing I can think of. You guys think that's what Gwyneth Paltrow looks like under all the goop? I still think that Angel Dynamite has something to do with Mr. E. I don't know what, but... Professor Pericles? So nice to meet you, Angel. No. Yeah, that wasn't a good tone. She was wearing a prom dress. Uh. And that's where we'll start. Prom? We find the dress, maybe we can track it back to her. This girl went to school here, and she's wearing the same dress. Her name was Amanda Smythe, and she was some sort of chemistry whiz. It also says she was named Prom Queen. Damn. We've got a great look for everyone. Does mine involve wearing a skirt and lipstick? No, but Scooby's does. <laughs> I don't know, like, this is one of the few times where, like, it actually feels supernatural-ish. Nah, but I'm, like, waiting serum. for it to be explained. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yo, Scooby. Get it. Booby booby doo. I will have what I deserve. No. What is that crown doing? Oh, yep. Yeah, enjoy that goop. Huh? Stop them. <laughs> My crown. Why the crown? What does the crown do? Oh. Damn, Damn Fred? Frederick. Amanda Smythe. Okay. Do you know how it feels to be humiliated, laughed at by everyone in this school? They had promised me I would be prom queen. Oh, did they carry her? Mask over my face. Damn. I left Crystal Cove that night. So when I stumbled on the formula for an artificial pheromone that could make people lose their minds with love, I knew I would have my reward. Okay, that just makes you a loser. <laughs> well, Scooby-Doo, like you saved the day. Um, who are you? I am an associate of Mr. E. Mr. E. It was I who gave Aphrodite the secret formula. In emotes form? First, an ancient conquistador ship manifest. Next, that stone piercing industrial great diamond drill bit. And finally, geological reports from the Darrow Mining Company. Okay, can I get a teeny little time out here? <laughs> that stuff have to do with anything an ancient fortune left behind by the conquistadors that first settled this area legend has it that it is buried somewhere deep beneath us and it now appears that pericles is on the verge of discovering it <gasps> and if he does it could well mean the end of crystal cove okay no interesting way. we're ramping up a little bit here yeah i feel like the chance of there being something actually supernatural in some way like it's building right is not unlikely because it's like we have like even if you write off the fact that scooby's a talking dog like pericles entire existence to me yeah unless he's a robot too somehow trick or treat <laughs> This supposed to be Velma's mom? Never get this from me. Never. Ah! Oh, oh sh Damn. Wait, is that his Damn. Family? Yo, I think this so. old lady's got What the oh. Um, so I'm going to be honest. I'm not a real estate agent, but I'm pretty sure houses aren't supposed to do that. I don't think so, man. Yo, that was a hell of an opening. I, I, like, that family's dead, right? Here are the clues we have so far that we know are linked to the curse of the haunted treasure. One, the locket we found in the Crystal Cove Caves. Two, Professor Pericles. He looks so much nicer there. <laughs> Mr. E left this on my doorstep last night. Weird. It doesn't have the standard letter E stamped on the front. Mm, you think she rubbed the lamp? The boiler room is the lowest point in the entire college. If we're lucky, we'll find a subtle clue that will help us. Be patient, though. This could take hours of careful... I found something. <laughs> I wonder where it leads. Only one way to find out. <laughs> you go, girl. Fred is at it. Let's go. Time to drop out of college. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh that's, that's cool. not good. Thanks to Zelda, I know that there's going to be bosses in here you have to fight. Damn right. <laughs> Mystery Incorporated will not get out of this mansion alive. So, so the stakes just... seem a little high. Yeah, it's like he thinks that they're them. Did you say traps? Specially designed for my old visitors, Brad. You too, Judy, Cassidy, Ricky, and of course, ever coming, Professor Pericles. <laughs> the 
conning Professor Peregrine. For some reason, this guy believes we're the original Mystery Incorporated. A boy with an axe and a hat? Axe, hat, axe, hat, exit. I hope he's right, but nah, in, in Fred, I trust. <laughs> after this, I after trust this. Fred after this. Oh, yeah, still? Oh, sh for a Master Trapper showdown like this my entire life. <laughs> Bruh. Fred, what? I would quit just randomly twisting, bro. Shut the f up, dude. I told you. I told you after dude, that. Get a little in faith. Fred. Unfortunately, that just holds you. See, that's just, there for too long. <laughs> that's just that's just an old house making weird sounds. Yeah. If, if. No one can touch Freddie Jones. No. Except, you know. yeah. Please take note, Brad and Judy, that you are in a sweet. Oh, he's gonna try and drown their asses. You can escape this trap, or you could stay faithfully with the girl you love. <laughs> Bro, I cannot believe how much this is escalated in a single episode yeah. not or even drop that radio in the pool like and neither minutes. of us has to worry about student loans anymore mm -hmm. oh. 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 Sh what <laughs> now the hammer god, god damn. damn what he is fred's built different we knew that already Sorry, Dad. Didn't hear you. No way am I letting this end the way he wants it to. Oh, uh, he's so what amazing. Damn, what did you think he was going to do, He broke Daffy? the chains with a a rock? That's a big rock. Yeah, dude. Depends what kind of chain that was. Bruh, like, she that's will like one never leave lows. It's over. They, they, are, they are together until Fred ends it or... Like, nah, it's, it's... Good thing I never go without my Swiss Army grooming kit. I'll just use my dainty eyebrow trimmers and... God damn, girl, how big are your eyebrows? Follow your intuition, Scooby Doo. Yo, could you imagine? Just He's in the kitchen, the bro. Yeah, he about Just to. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> it's a clue. Simultaneously apply pressure to the four gray floor tiles next to you. Oh. We're free! Oh my god. But well, like this clue is written for Professor Pericles. Uh, so in the old Mystery Incorporated, Professor Pericles was the smartest. He would have been drawn to the seed cake and used his wings and claws to press the tiles. His wings but would he have been strong have been enough? Been They're heavy enough. Tiles. Yeah, yeah, I don't he's think a bird. so. A huh. microphone? This must be where that crazy voice guy is broadcasting. <laughs> don't worry. The only dinner being served tonight. What? Oh, that ain't right. What's he cooking? But he might be in a mask, so it's hard to say. Oh, damn! That's little Danny Darrow? He's lived down here all these years? Look, it's some sort of puzzle piece. Oh. You found it! Get it back! That would be horrifying, though. Like, yeah, a little bit. I mean, bit. he's a wall. Hey, can you <laughs> Mommy? Huh? Ew. You're not my mommy. No! Damn, you ain't the brightest, huh, dude? He said I hadn't seen sunlight in 40 years. Oh. Well, damn. Way to go, gang. <laughs> Who's been served now, huh? You are a worthy opponent. You're not bad yourself. Was that a Gainsborough stratagem you used? Oh, my bed? God, no. And what's with this? Thing. I thought you had returned to steal it. You don't look anything like I remember you. Yeah, idiot. Especially that parrot over there. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my family came upon a mysterious artifact. I had just gotten my hands on it when the earth shook and swallowed our entire house. In a sinkhole. Then those meddling kids showed up. Oh, I spied on them. I booby trapped the whole house. So attempted murder. Like, I mean, yeah. you know. Grab my hand. Don't worry about me. But your treasure. Keep it. And may it bring you more happiness than it ever brought me. What? This is not good. Them having that is not going to go well. Yeah. yeah. Dude, this episode took such a drastically different turn. <laughs> Yo, Fred saved two people today. Yeah, he's doing work. Like he did say this wedge was cursed. Question is, are there other pieces out there? And if there are, who else is looking for? <gasps> oh, ho. 
Bro, oh, the what? Thickens. All right, hold up. May I help you? Do you have any jewelry? Of course. Oh, let me see that one. I'm not supposed to show that to anyone. Then why is it on why display? It? I guess it wouldn't hurt to let you look. How much? I'm afraid it's not for sale. Then why is it in the display? Then why is it? Oh my bro, you gonna walk away? God damn. Well, I mean, thanks anyway. You deserve it, bro. At least your own damn fault. I'm victim blaming. I don't give a shit. I've come for my re Of course. Uh, is that? that? George Takai? Yeah. What is this? I don't understand. It was just here. But I... I... Oh! What? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Yo, Gizmo's watching murder? She said, cool ring, though. They really ramping it up towards the end of season one, dude. This is Miley. Oh. She's here from China on a two-week student exchange. Like, who did we exchange for her? Hot dog water. Damn, hot. they got rid of hot dog water? No, I mean, not hot I get dog it. water. This is Miley. Yo, Miley's sitting real close to Shaggy right uh -huh. now. Uh-huh. Uh, no, that ain't right. That ain't right. <laughs> Shaggy, you have to stop flirting with Miley. Mr. Wang, we better Damn. get you back to the hotel if you're going to be ready for the shindig tonight. I'm honored to. All right. That is a lovely ring, Miss Miley. Where did you find such a treasure? Dinner is at eight. Dress is casual. Is he the f guy? Is he Mr. Sounds Electric like... Man? Yeah, yeah, he's much. Yeah. <laughs> well, that ain't good. Damn, Scooby out. He's like, yeah, I ain't dealing with this. He said, "Lightning's bad." Oh, that's sick. Whoa. Okay. All okay right. then. All right. Do not disturb the dragon's heart, or Wait. you will pay the price. Is that what's his name? Like the the, the dude who was serving them at the restaurant? Same voice. Maybe yes. he yeah. did, he knew something was up with that ring too. That's the thing. It could be like a multitude of people at this point. Somebody do something. Ahead of Aren't you guys the adults? Oh no. Oh no, they're gonna like him. Rough. I don't think they are. <laughs> Why did that? Oh! I seem to be trapped in some sort of net. Which was triggered by... It's a brown burger B41. You booby trapped Daphne's house? I booby trapped all your houses. I love you, Fred, so Damn much. it, Fred. Oh, my God. He's amazing. Mr. Wang, I am so sorry about this. Spare me. Things like this always happen when the Jones boys are around. So they definitely oh. don't like each other, yeah. Daphne, I want your idiot boyfriend out of my house. Did you hear that? Your dad called me your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> it's some kind of red dust. That's not dust, it's tea. This tea is very rare. And flammable. You only know one place in Crystal Cove that specializes in rare flammable teas. The Mogwai store. Or not. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, I recommend eating the ice cream first. <gasps> okay, I, I do Aww. just want to point out Shaggy told Velma that he's not ready for a girlfriend. Yeah. And is actively now flirting with this girl in front of Velma. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. This way. Wait, this Damn. is the blue lightning now, though. This is the the, the guy, other dude. Yeah. Oh. Wait, that's the wizard from the party. Kame, Kame. Ha! Oh. Yes. That white wizard has three oh. rings exactly like yours. Thanos needs the last stone. I don't think T is doing all this. Like, I don't know how they're going to explain their way around this one. Yeah. Oh, oh. I wonder if he grabbed the ring. Oh, oh gosh. Yo. <laughs> Yo, friend, don't play. He's still coming. <laughs> all right. Magic ring. Cool. I suppose it's time you should know. He's gonna touch his amulet and transform. Who's been popping up out of nowhere? It's me. What? Legend has it that you must use four sacred rings to gain access to the dragon's heart. Damn. Because the jade dragon is right over there. Oh. Uh, sorry. <laughs> it does. It does give off those vibes. <laughs> what the? F oh. Okay. Yo, wizard, meet the jade fireworks. What? Damn! 
Seems a little dangerous, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, it's, this makes me want to make you guys watch Big Trouble in Little China. What the? Mr. <gasps> Wang? No way. Bum, bum, bum. way. Mr. Wang posed as the evil white kung fu wizard to steal the fourth dragon ring from my... Yep, that's probably what I would have done first out of anything. In an effort to stop him. Pretty sure. Really dangerous. Fun. Yeah. It, oh, the mm, same way mm. I did. Jetpack. Of course. Oh, a jetpack. Jet so now that it's over, um, I was wondering if we could like, how do I say this? Just say it. Right. right. <laughs> Thanks, pal. Why are you supportive of this, Scoob, and not Velma? I know. What is that? Maybe it's because like Velma's part of the friend group and she's not. Like when you leave. In Damn. 10 minutes. Oh. He's like, I just need three. Damn, and Velma's smiling. Nah, Velma in the right here. Yeah. What it feels like to have your heart broken. Oh! 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 You know, one of the things I always wanted a boy to do was surprise me and see me off as I was leaving on a plane. Oh, the disrespect. I will say, it's nice that she's being supportive of it. Yeah. This is true. Is it her? My no? so long mystery incorporated. Oh, cause you. Oh. <gasps> Hello, dude. Or should I say, my lead. But why'd she sound old? Report to see you off, but you weren't on the plane. Oh, she about to whoop your ass, Shaggy. Fine, come and get it. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! He's like, God, I wasn't run, expecting dude. that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I just throw it in the water. <laughs> like at that point. <laughs> yeah. oh. Let me down, you idiot! He's oh. too good oh. for you. Come on, Dad. <laughs> You can come out now. What? How did you know that my Lee would step right in the middle of your trap? That's why I set traps all- Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. Ed Jones, you buffoon! Hey, look, you know, it worked, so. He comes prepared with at least like seven different extra plans, okay? Yeah, I gotta really give the man does. props. Do you want uncut and early reactions to your favorite series that we do here on the channel? What about double episodes? We have all of that available and more for Billy's on Patreon and members on YouTube. Your support means the world to us and it allows us to keep doing what we love and keep delivering you the content that you love or will eventually love because Billy is love. Billy is live. Everything's gonna be fine, Billy. Everything's gonna be fine, Billy. Everything is gonna be fine, Billy. Everything is going to be fine, Billy. A little bit of everything right now. This is a... Uh... Oh! So not... Nah, he got bit. I saw that. You can't, yeah, you can't lie totally to me. Yeah, he totally got bit. A zombie bite. Already I feel myself changing. Dude, the voice cast of this show, though, is crazy. I mean, bro, Every you got, episode. If you got asked to be on Scooby-Doo, would you say no? Promise me you'll bolt the door and never let me in. No! You'll be mine! You're... you're... Oh! Wow, that was oh, fast. Oh, uh, Narrator, he wasn't. <laughs> Damn. Get out! I was just kidding before. Seriously, I left the burners in the kitchen on. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's him, bro. Why is he at the door? Let me in! Let me in. And intro. Hello. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I, I'd be creeped the f out too if if I was watching a movie and then all of a sudden the like, actor showed up the actor just comes is think, knocking at the door like I think if anyone casually knocked on my door in an ascot and a smoker's jacket I'd automatically be like a little bit skeptical yeah <laughs> congratulations boys you won won what the have dinner with Vincent Van Gogh essay contest uh, what but they weren't notified of it I've been cooking all day they mustn't tarry I don't want the fondue to get lumpy he's picking you up and bringing you to his house like yeah bro and, <laughs> and he's cooking the food oh sh maybe that's what it'll be oh um okay you a little freaky aren't you somehow the monsters i've portrayed in my movies have come to life yeah i mean i could see how somebody might uh get a little crazy living in fear that i'll open a door and what? Yo, he's just trying to get a midnight snack. Run for your life! He might just be f with. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, what the? Quickly! I mean, imagine if this was all staged. This would be a hell of a. Hell yeah! That'd be cool. You'd be terrified, but when you're done. <laughs> oh! Isn't it scary? Yep. Yeah, it's it's part of the thing. What? <laughs> Batman? Uh. Oh! Satan! Holy! 
You know, I'm kind of feeling bad for these other ones now. I am night fright. Time for you to die. Looks like Tim Curry in Legend. Also, I'm wondering if Dr. Phobos is like from the abominable Dr. Fives. Uh, that is. <laughs> what? He that strong? Yeah, we're only supposed I don't to think that's gonna help, bro. Just... So the three were. Oh! I was just having a bit of fun with you, but this one is real. The closet. Yeah, that's really gonna help, buddy. That's the safest area to hide. The closet. Bill, get us out of here. Help! So Bill's the bad guy, right? Who are you talking to? The director. There are cameras all over the house. You're on my TV show. I make gourmet dinners for guests, then scare the niblets out of them. Only something's gone wrong. I'm pretty sure they have to sign paperwork for that. Help! What is he doing? Why isn't he following the script? Maybe he's improvising. Ah! Time for you to die! Ah! Ah! Yo, I like the character design, though. Uh-huh. Right? Ah! Holy sh**. Get them out of there! We can't! The keypad to open the security doors is inside the house! Well, that seems really Why stupid. Why would you... What? It doesn't have a failsafe? Call Mystery <laughs> Incorporated! <laughs> Yo, call the call the homie squad. We need help. You sure there's no way we can get in there? Place is sealed tighter than a red nose and a fat clown. I mean, Me dude broke the metal door on the front. What do you mean? Walk through the front door. Goes under the yard and leads to an emergency generator. We might be able to crawl through. I wouldn't do that. You could get electrocuted. Tim. You're just a PA. Mind your own business. Oh, and uh, get me a donut. So he's he's the bad guy. Yeah, he's yeah. the PA. Is the, the bad, yeah. Or he's involved somehow. The show was my idea and you stole it. You guys all right? It fled when it heard you coming. And a good thing, too, because all this excitement has made me need to tinkle. I care with this dude. Night Fright needs to tinkle. We're never going to make it out of here alive. Damn, the way he was moving, it looks like Night Fright was wearing some Ron DeSantis lifts in his hooves. Goddamn right. Nothing but bit parts and terrible pictures. Scream, scream. Time for you to die. Yes, Night Fright. I remember that character. Um, uh-huh. That's what I think it's saying. I feel another tinkle coming on. <laughs> oh, I am Night Fright. Remember your craft. Oh, hello there. Nice to see you again. Uh, don't mind us. We're just stretching our legs. Man even made way for him. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I am Night Fright. Yes, yeah, so you said. Excuse us. <laughs> I am Night Fright! Please don't interrupt. It is rude. What the f? <laughs> is he just going to start going with him on the tour? <laughs> I'm Night Fright! Do me a favor. Stand right here, would you? Mm, perfect. No, no, they're not. Bro, this you've got to say. Ow, my God! I was about to say, you guessed somebody, dude. Oh, I've never been more frightened in my life. And I didn't tinkle. <laughs> <laughs> what the f***? Yeah. Shot. Yeah, really. who, who, who'd have guessed? Well, by scaring you and everyone watching on TV, I was going to prove that Night Fright deserved his own horror movie. I paid the other actors to pretend to be knocked out when I attacked. Not too bankrupt. What about the strength? I'm Harry Schnitzel Boyson, the executive producer of this show. I've been watching the whole thing. Why are you in a robe and barefooted? But I found your pathetic tale of lost dreams inspiring. It's gonna make a great movie. A movie? About me? Hey, you know what? Bye, everyone. He's trying. I'm impressed. It goes to show crime pays. Yeah, Break the man. Wall. Goddamn right. Like that's the first time Daphne's eaten more than us, huh, Scoop? <laughs> God damn. Whoa. Did someone say dessert? Damn, That's quite I... the buzz. <laughs> you are right, though. Anything that doesn't involve Mr. E seems to be more lighthearted, and then the Mr. E stuff is like it's getting real, dude. Yeah, like, like you know what I mean? Like, and and see, I don't think I have an issue with it because now that I understand what they're doing, I'm fine with it. Yeah, it but it gives took you me a nice while balance. to be like, why yeah. is it bouncing back and forth? <gasps> What is isn't dead man's point haunted? Aye, is what they say, and we probably won't come back alive. But don't forget, we're fishermen. We do stupid things all the time. Goddamn right, brother. Yep. Oh? Uh -huh. Aqualad? Oh. How you gonna explain that one? Well, it just came up through the ship. 
Okay, dokey. Maybe they didn't have their fishing license. Flim Flam. Remember him, Freddy? You forget. I was away that year. I spent the summer tied up at trapping camp. I love that. I don't, even, all I don't remember Flim Flam oh. at all. Wow. Oh. I haven't seen. Look away, Daphne. We all promised each other that we would never speak of him. Not ever. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Oh my god. What Why is Scrappy getting the shun? Have you looked into the case of the missing sardine boat that disappeared off Dead Man's Point? I think it might have something to do with a haunted oil platform in the area. Anonymous. Anonymous. Shaggy, I've got a mystery for us. What do you mean you can't come? Turn down a mystery. Hello? Hello? Damn. Up on me. I think we are getting the thing you were saying. Maybe this will be the Velma episode. Yeah. Last one was the Scooby one, Velma. Maybe we get a Fred and Daphne one next. A three-parter for the finale. Yeah, maybe. I am the source of the anonymous tip that brought you out here. Crystal Cove is in danger. They're coming for me. Run, Velma, or they'll get you too. Okay. Oh, bye, bro. Well, damn. Ain't no way they get some back. Oh, yo. Ooh. No! I don't think both slow down. Oh, oh, oh. Not unless you hit throw it in reverse, but still, I mean. The only one that fishes these waters is run by me brother, Skipper Shelton. Okay. Two Skipper Sheltons? Besides myself, there are five Skipper Sheltons. Oh, five Skipper Oh, Shelton. goddamn. All right. I didn't expect that. Is that guy missing his nose? Yeah, yeah, I think so. He's got, like, the claw marks and shit. Oh, he's got the eye patch over it. <laughs> A nose patch. <laughs> good maybe it's his siblings how did you get here all the way from the ocean it wasn't easy wait are, are they real i don't know they do a very good job of like making it hard to tell skipper shelton has been taken by the fish freaks i think they're headed for the oil platform i'll call the gang yeah? no you can good thing i have this key i use to snoop around your room when you're not here. what the f damn you have no respect for my privacy of course i don't you're a teenager damn i told you there's no one here see pop out the window i was wondering if this haunted oil platform is the same one that used to be on back in the day by destroyed them. they were going to start pumping oil a while back until some scientists environmentalists environmental heebity jeebity stuff <laughs> when was this about 20 years back i didn't know you lived here that long ago I didn't. Um, oh. uh, no, excuse me. Awkward. I, bro, I knew she was involved somehow. I'm telling you, dude, I think she's Mr. E. Or at least, like, working with yeah. Mr. E. We'd like permission to go out to your abandoned oil platform. Now beat it before I have you arrested for trespassing. Nice guy, isn't he? Ernesto? Hello again. Oh, so those are the mermaids. Yeah. Look over there. <laughs> Way to go, Scooby. I knew we'd find it eventually. Like, do they even go to school at all? No. Like... Maybe, they're maybe always they're just, mystery. It, it's it's extra credit, man. Of course, it was the weekend. She said Friday night when it first true, started. True. Oh, hi, boys. Oh, hey, What's look, up? there's four of them. Oh, kind of crazy. That's how many activists we started. I know, right? Damn, man. are you accusing hmm. the activists of being terrorists? I'm, 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 accu I'm accusing them of possibly being extremists. Oh, okay. Wow, look at these knots. The simplicity and the beauty. These fish freaks have skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're the scientist Angel was talking about. The fish freaks nabbed me a couple of weeks ago, forced me to help them. I love that they all refer to them as the fish freaks. They're going to drill for oil underneath this platform, just like Destroido wanted to do years ago. Oh. Bro, they are... Naughty. I'm begging you not to drill. The oil will kill thousands of healthy sea creatures. Oh, they want to. They want to drill for oil so they, they can accuse Destroido. Mm -hmm. Oh damn! Kind of crazy how they know how to operate a drill too. Yeah. Know, right. Yeah, those are some smart fish freaks. Maybe I can help. A mermaid. But who is she? I don't know. Once you turn off the drill, they'll chase you back up here right into one of my traps. Once again, we're bait. Exactly. exactly. Oh, they're and they're still just there. Gardener. Oh, well, that was a lot easier than I was actually anticipating. <laughs> here here comes the hard fart. part. <laughs> Holy sh that thing's fast. I would like to see who's been holding me captive all this time. Oh, shocker. No! I would have never no guessed! 
We were going through their trash when we ran across some very interesting information. We were going to drill for the oil ourselves and sell it. That makes you as bad as them! You were going to cause a major environmental disaster in order to get the cash to protest against major environmental disasters? Thank you. You must be willing to kill the environment to save it. What? Uh, no. Oh my god. Allow me to introduce my lovely wife, Amy Cavanaugh. I'd gone to the police to report that my husband had been kidnapped by fish freaks, but they just laughed at me. I thought that if I could make it sound like Damn. your mysteries, you'd help me rescue my husband. Oh yeah, we haven't had the sheriff in the last few yeah, episodes. Yeah, true. Our friend Angel also deserves a lot of credit. She knew about Destroido's involvement from some old newspaper articles. That's how we made the connection. That's strange. The papers never even knew about it. What? Yup. Dude, I'm telling you, we're, we're building up to that finale. I think your real name is Cassidy Williams, and you're one of the members of the original Mystery Incorporated that vanished in the caves beneath Crystal Cove. Oh! Tell me I'm wrong, friend. Damn! Oh, no, you're no, not! Oh, no, you're oh, not! Oh, God no. damn it, man. <laughs> Bro, damn. They came swinging with that hook. Oh. They're like, get ready. That's that, because that was episode 20, right? Are you sure it's a good idea to go to an amusement park? Um, oh my god. We were kidnapped and manhandled by a really mean man crab. I believe it's crab handle, not manhandle. Crab manhandled? You know, I... This is actually a really good point. If everything is happening in the town, mm -hmm. there's going to be repeat victims. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the town's yeah. only so big. Yeah. From up here, it doesn't look like such a scary place to live. And maybe everything will turn out all right for us. Until it catches on fire. Yeah. And you're stuck up there waiting. At least we're together and safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's coming from front? Oh! Holy! Yo! What the f- Nah. Nah, Mystery Inc. How are you going to explain this sh What are you up to? She I just see walks you, in the toxic waste. And she don't smell at all? Nah, bro. Called uh, Swamp Proof Perfume. Holy sheesh. No way. Ain't no way. So we just learned who did the Scooby thing. Yep. It was her. Oh. I want to see Mr. E now. Okay, um, so she's not Mr. E. It, Mr. E is part of Destroyed? What? Mystery Inc. kids have found a piece of the planospheric disc. So now we know where two of the pieces are. Turn around. I'm worried about those kids. Why? Pericles. Long hair? And that nutso yeah. parrot might go after the piece, which puts them in danger. The other two won't move a muscle as long what? as Fred Jones is still alive. Because Wait. it's his dad! Yeah. But I need your help. Our help? Dad, are we bonding? <laughs> oh my. I'm shaking. Oh, I'm shaking. I feel so bad for the dude. Fred, don't get all girly on me. I asked. God damn! My man just wants his field of dreams moment. Right? Park, when I found haunted attractions for sale, don't scare. Advertising an ancient Persian temple haunted by a manticore. Oh, good, good, good idea, bro. Come on. Who buys a temple on the internet? Sorry, sir. <laughs> I paid the owners of the temple in leftover K Horrifico t shirts and they shipped the temple up here. But now it appears that the Manticore is actually eating tourists. <laughs> <laughs> We're running a special on our nefarious nachos. Where? <laughs> Wait, why is. Oh, I'm the owner, Winslow Fleach, and this is my daughter. Hot dog. Why am water. I not surprised? Hello, Velma. Can you imagine, like, being nicknamed Hot Dog Water? Y y yeah. Velma and I are old friends from the science fair circuit. Sorry about beating you again, Velma this year damn it's a perfect place for a trap Be gone. oh hello buddy i want a costume that lets me fly bro he don't give a f yeah i would say that ride seen better days man yeah a little bit oh yo Is that a real manticore then I mean, yo, I, the, this is the first time the dad was like, nah, I need Help you. Help me. <laughs> yeah. Way too close. Tell me about it. He said he was eating people. Yo, what was that creepy slow turn by Fred right there? This website is a fake. Someone went to a lot of trouble to put this site together. Someone with serious computer expertise. Oh, hot dog water. Dad. Mm-hmm. 
What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing, Dad? Just studying plans for my mayoral library that'll be built after my term's over. Traps. And you didn't notice anything unusual about the website? No. Well, if you think of anything, you'll call me, right, Dad? Sure. You are Velma. Probably Velma. Damn, that's so I feel so up. bad for him, dude. Hey, is he doing this to distract him from something else, though? Yeah. Who's to say that up here we won't find some sign of the... You know what? Nah, see where he takes you. Yeah. Yep. Or she. Uh, that is called attempted murder. Oh, I, I mean, you know, they, maybe they just wiggled free. He's like, round two. F what? Yo, I ain't gonna lie. If it was my fat ass, I would have plummeted through that into the earth. For those three rides. I'd f stab him. Yeah, you're gonna get beat to death with a churro. It was like the manticore. What? Helium? Um, Helium? Yeah. Is that how he's floating or flying? Maybe. This is what happens when you inhale too much manticore. It has to be. Fred, just curious. You know that this piece we found? What did you do with it? Oh, I gave it to Shaggy and Scooby. Ooh. What? Well, they're the last people anyone would suspect of having anything important. That's actually you a really what? good plan. <laughs> I can't take um, much more of this. Um. This is the last oh, of the nacho hot do Oh, I was like, why? Manicores have a legendary fondness for human flesh. Must not lick self. <laughs> you guys smell that? Hot, Hot dog, dog water. water. Yep. Yeah. Holy. Oh, God damn, Freddy. Fred, don't give up. No. He's running. No on one a messes with his dad. Roller coaster track. Go, Fred. Yo, it's like that scene in Captain America where he's holding onto the helicopter. You? Oh. All he's got to do is let go. Like, let go, Manicor. You win. How? Oh, sh go, Scoo! What the f What? Yeah, dude, this is insane. Are you? Damn. Uh-huh, yeah, helium. This is no manticore, Daphne. It's hot dog water. Hot yeah, dog dude, water! I told y'all, that's why I said she earlier. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Yo, hot dog water ass. Just before the manticore attacked, I smelled something familiar. It was briny, greasy hot dog water. <laughs> okay, uh, she has the best excuse out of all the villains so far, though. Mm -hmm. Smelling like hot dog water drive me insane. I decided to run some experiments on the steel used to build the park's rides. God, I hate you. If you melted the steel down and combined it with chromium, stalagmite, and mercury phosphate, it created a kind of super helium. It sounds like she's a terrorist. <laughs> like, am I, am I wrong? <laughs> like, it sounds like she was attempting a terrorism. I know who has the planet spirit disc piece, but not where. Speak. Turn around! When I saw her now they need to keep wearing a mask, anyways. Later, oh, I heard Fred tell her that Shaggy and Scooby have the piece. Angel Dynamite. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Velma's mom, potentially. Fred. Look at the key. Look at, look, I, I feel like that would be the Fred. Oh no, they're all they have all the pendant. Are. Yeah, they all are. Yeah, this I feel like Fred's that was. Dad. Yeah, that's Fred's dad, but is that also Fred's mom, possibly? Maybe. And then. Was to me. Oh! 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 Okay, oh! Yeah. Oh! Okay. Yeah. He's yeah. he's him. He's this guy. Yeah. He's the Shaggy. Yeah. Damn. So he was betrayed yeah. by the Heracles then? I, That's what I find it, it funny like. that the stoners in these groups were like the smarter ones in the other group. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the they, inverse. They've turned to the marijuanas because of betrayal. <laughs> Who the hell are you? What's up, G.I. Joe? Look at the chin, though. Dude, that chin, he has to be voiced by Patrick Warburton. If he's not. Right? He better be. Oh, uh, Marion, Kachinga. Found it. I told you, Legend Plenty True Kachinga. Uh oh. So he's the bad guy. I wanted to start guessing like immediately. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh. My ankle. Oh. Holy f Did he just load her ankle like it was a handgun? I know you're excited. Go on. I'll be fine here. Oh, nah, bro. She. Okay. Oh, he gonna leave. Oh, my God. All right, you know what? Maybe she's the she's gonna be the evil one. Love you. Damn, you don't want to share in this moment with your oh, wife, bro. That's wild. What? Oh, oh, oh! No well, shot. Oh, 
Oh, yo, not even an are you okay? Bro, could you imagine if he went back and she was just flattened like a <laughs> yeah. pancake? Be like, oh, sh that's a shame. You what if I just put you back? Right? Like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't take you. Oh. oh. You ever get eaten by a belly? Honestly, he kind of deserved it, though. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of a piece of shit. I'm not even going to lie. This horror had me pinned against the wall. It punched me again. Of course again. it's this guy. What did you do? I kicked it right in the face. hi -ya! <laughs> Dude, my man's still just standing there with the spear. Yeah, we solved mysteries. We've almost been killed a couple of times. Don't you just love it when that happens? <laughs> it's just the best. Absolutely. <laughs> nah, dude, they're going to bond too much. It's, it's the power of the chin. You worked with Dr. Spartan. Quite a while, actually. We were students at Oxford. What kind of name is Kachinga? Damn, that's kind of rude. All this from your adventures? Yep. Well, all and Pier 1 imports. <laughs> shrunken head of Sklar Gringot. You want to hold it? Absolutely. Of course. I don't think I'd want to hold a real shrunken head. <laughs> right on. Damn. Well... It, what, it tunneled its way? Pretty good. It was a crazy design, though. Oh! Whooping yeah, his ass! Kinga ain't playing! Stab it! Quick! I shall be with you forever. Yeah, we know, Kachinga. We know. So if it doesn't have a head, how do they unmask it? I heard a frightful command. Oh, shocker. Where you were? Why you not come when monster make bad bad? Like, bro, we both went to Oxford. Why? Why, why are you like, talking like that? Yeah. I said if I took the head, its body would avenge the wrong I did forever. Maybe Kachinga is more like Indiana Jones, where he's like, it belongs in a museum. The instructions say we can't start until precisely midnight. I'm surprised Kachinga didn't come to help. Yeah, weird. God damn. I just love incantations. There's a dude. A little call for. Of course you do. Okay, Scoob, you're up. Go, Scooby, go. I'm a wama yoy yoy. Yoy yoy. Pippy pippy. Go back to jungle. Why would you take the head, though? Like, I don't know. It's just so f***ed up. I mean, look at his outfit. Oh. Where's the head? Maybe he ate it. Oh, you, Why does that... I'll, you know what? This dude's got balls. We give him that at least. Yeah. This, he might Monster be a scumbag. sounds like but... a Ben 10 alien. It does feel like a Ben 10 alien. <laughs> I'll get you, Ben Tennyson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what happened? Like you give a whoop. I don't need you anymore. I'm quitting. Maybe it's the oh, wife darling. because him and Charles are actually in love. Oh. I think you're right. Maybe that thing will leave me alone if I stop all this adventure stuff. Yes. Yes, maybe. Yep. Yeah, it's her. Give us one more chance to figure out how to stop that thing. Scooby and I found this where the creature came out of the ground. Oxford. 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 Huh. Was the wife involved with Oxford? He didn't say the wife, I don't think. He just said him and I mean, they she's planned, maybe she's there. trying to frame him. Oh, damn. Yeah, she's trying to frame him. I don't like the yep. way they say native. Oh, I feel so bad, dude. Take him away. No. The first time we've seen the sheriff in like Yeah, it's been so a handful of episodes. Yeah. yeah. It was Kachinga. He was pretending to be the headless horror all along. I never trusted that guy. I was like your best friend. Yeah, like what? I can go back to the jungle. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> it's the wife. It's like you stupid you just didn't learn. <laughs> Bro, it's like she was lurking on the other wall. Let's get him out of here. <laughs> No, he's not. Yep. Classic yes, Scooby Doo chase scene. Let's go. Yeah. Scooby Doo we do. Where are you? I just want one. Some work to do now. Whoa. What the fuck? If there's anything I've learned from movies and TV, it's the hospitals are not safe. Gotcha. <laughs> They're bringing Kachinga back. <laughs> Sorry, we had to trick you, Sheriff. Oh. We to believe it was Kachinga, so we could set a trap for the person who's really behind this. Yeah, that's a wife. <gasps> no way. Whoa. Fine. I admit it. Well, you kind of have to. We caught you in costume. <laughs> <laughs> I came up with the fake legend of Sklar Gringot. I forged an ancient map. What? But then also, are you kidding cre me? Created a fake head and. Nah, Temple. dude, it, he woke up with a map on his face and followed it. He's a moron. Like, it's, it's over. If 
pretended to break my ankle because I knew you'd send Kachinga for but help he... and go up into the ruins by yourself. He cut your ankle like a gun. It's true. He does seem dumb enough to fall for this, though. To the point where I could control the mouth with my abs. Wait, wait, what? That's amazing. Wait, so <laughs> the whole time when she was throwing those things in the in, in the uh -huh. hospital with, with her the abs, mouth, bro, that was ab strength, bro. Yeah. Take it off. Oh, Let's see, see the abs, uh, girl. All this, I, I, all this... I need I need to see the abs. Calisthenics, man. Calisthenics. Can you ever forgive me? She's going to prison. I don't want to press any charges. She busted up a hospital. Take me back to my room. Anything. She destroyed part of a do hospital. It with, do it with her abs. She committed other crimes. How about I order us a bunch of pizzas? How about you pay for the hospital room. to be fixed? Okay. Dude, this is the weirdest wrap up of any of. She the... busted through the wall of the hospital. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Dude, my man got a <laughs> Drabs illustrated. I know me. I would get up to piss in the middle of the night and step, step right in yep. the middle of that thing. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, what you up to, Papa? Damn. Yo, my man's got alphanumeric damn keypads. That oh, is that's Shadow. Mr. E, right? Is someone there? Yeah, those covers are really going to help you, buddy. Nah, they, they protect you from demons, dude. Dude, no, not again. What? Not again? Dude, what if they actually kill Fred's dad? We haven't seen Fred's mom, right? I've got to get out of here. Let me go. Damn, damn. He is leaving his child there, bro. What is happening? So, Dad, who's in your bedroom? But mind your damn business, that son. That was nuts. I think we might be getting into some serious here boys here you go a sampling of my best herbal um that's no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <Who wants to try? laughs> yeah exactly i like tea but nah a ghost hunter i'm sorry but who are you and what are you doing skulking in my mom's bookcases buying books barista is that like a massage therapist because i have got this is she real lady marmalade espresso chai latte mocha chocolate yayas and the like mocha chocolate yaya is that from the song yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought I was going <laughs> crazy. Thanks again for spending the night. If Mayor Dad is in trouble, we're here to help. Good catch. Like, that's Fred's mom. She left when he was a baby. Oh. She was pretty. Maybe someday I'll get to tell her that in person. Uh, oh, that is well... so sad. Huh? Oh. Um, bro, his clothes are dancing. Shaggy, Scooby, I need you now. Fred? They're gonna put the... I genuinely thought they'd put it in the oven first. Um, what? Oh. Uh, Food's not supposed uh, to do that. What? I'm starting to think it's carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> Bro, Holy that'd be shit. so weird. Hold on, Dad. To what? I'm on the ceiling. To what? <laughs> I cannot believe you're being chased by an evil pizza. <laughs> you know what? Maybe it's time to move out. I'm just going to say it. Yeah, I would at least stay in a hotel. I'm going to need all of your help, including yours, Dad. I can't hear you. I'm too comfortable. Damn. <laughs> If I can't solve what's so, happening to you, uh, I'll this has got to be because forever, of that piece. And I'll be whatever you want me to be. Really? Oh, I'm sure, right? Too late. He said it. No going back, sees. I've got witnesses, Fred. <laughs> Yo, Fred's dad is wild. <laughs> He's such a piece of shit. We'll be able to watch and record anything that comes after my dad. Not exactly a great place for that, but okay. One more part to my plan. Yeah, dude! Now let's get started, man. I got a pile of chicken bones and scented candles stinking up my butt bag. Your butt bag? Who are you? And why are you doing this to me? Oh, sh I want what you took from me. Dad, does that mean something to you? Oh, of course not. It's obviously trying to pull some sort of scam. Holy sh! You disrespected the spirits, and now they're mighty angry. Oh, wow. Um, what? My God, bro. <gasps> Knock it out, Tyler. Oh, Tyler? He named it. He named it. Dad, I don't know what's in there, but it sure hates you. <laughs> Yo. Oh, sh oh. Oh. Possibly hated because he might die. Yeah. Lady Marmalade, you've dealt with this kind of thing before. What it's do we like do? No. It's very clear what to do in situations like this, girly. Run like hell. Run. Yep. Yeah. Run like hell. Uh uh. Yeah. No, nah, I can't blame her, dude. Sorry, it's bro. Fair. Your dad's yeah. dead. That's, that's a that's a <laughs> that real sucks. response. Got it. That's right before he was grabbed. He looked behind him. Oh, you little bag. 
That looks like the thing we found in the Darrow Mansion. No, the markings are different. It must be another piece. You know, I understand how a dog can like help with things like this. I don't. I don't understand the parrot. Sunflower seeds. Parrots can't. Hey, my dad like said that. he'd been finding them. He was a genius, though. Actually, true. Actually, good. Birds. Point. Birds have like really good noses, but that's why you can't use air fresheners around them. It'll kill them. It's one of my traps, but it looks like someone has modified it. Oh. Oh. Why would one of your traps be under your dad's bed? I've got traps all over the house. Especially to burn. Oh, to burn up the Ouija board. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> Man said, Tyler, chill. Oh, oh my God. Uh, bro, one that, wrong move. And y'all murderers. We got him. Is it just going to be him? Is it just going to be his dad? It's got to be his dad. It feels <laughs> like it. Professor Pericles. It is him. Fred really should have come up with a more secure. Oh my God! Are you trapping guy? Trapping guy. Control of the traps. It was like totally simple to simulate a haunt. We love him. I do love him. When Fred hears the word trap house, he be into it. That's his favorite music. <laughs> I wanted this piece of the planet's spheric disc. But how did you know he had it in the first place? Because he stole it from me. Oh. <laughs> Yo, f this bird. You didn't think I have a backup plan until we meet again. Damn, they mm. really starting to raise the stakes here. Yeah. Oh, another ghost. Nah, dad. this is Fred's dad. You're okay. Dimpled puppet eggs, Fred. I am clearly not okay. <laughs> Why would Professor Pericles want that piece of the disc so badly? How should I know? You all right, come on, bro. We're just all really happy you're okay. This mystery is over. No, it. No, it not. ain't, Fred. Not even close, I'm dude. I'm not sure this mystery is over at all. <laughs> Riddle me this. He's a bird. If we mm -hmm. kill him, we're not going to prison. You oh, know what? Kill that's the end of my theory. That's on the table like, still? We can kill him. Professor Pericles? Why not? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the piranha goat. The piranha goat. <laughs> What's wrong with this thing? <laughs> oh, he's giving it the European grip. Going somewhere, piranha goat. What? Oh, sh**. Oh, piranha oh, goat's getting away. They're, they're going to jail, too. Good job, bro. Uh, oh, hi. Is that a zebra? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's totally a zebra. It looked like a zebra. What do you want from me? Awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's just, yeah. His lightning lasso. Dead justice. He's returned. Dead. Oh, they know each other. Name That's too. Yeah. Who is this dead justice guy? Only the greatest lawman ever to clean up the streets of Crystal Cove, and my number three personal hero. Right behind myself and the mayor. Mm -mm. You don't. You don't put yourself on your own That's personal hero fine. list. Oh, wait, what? Hey, what the? Beat you to it, Bronson. Dead justice coming in for the cleanup. <laughs> His bullets have faces? I mean, I don't see a negative here. He's taking care of it for you. And this year's Crime Stopper of the Year is... Dead Justice. Dead Justice! Shut up. I mean, yeah, I deserve no, not. it. Deserve? No, not. Is it not deserved? I'm just doing my job, which is more than I can say for your useless sheriff stall. Oh. His bullets oh. make cool sounds, oh. too. I'm in it for justice. Hi -ho! Damn. Justice. You know what? That's a, that's a dude who deserves the award. Oh, my God. Where'd you get those? Only from that dude in the white jean jacket. What? Uh, what? Wait, why? Why is he shut? What? What? He's a local crime nut who calls himself the Night Ranger. He writes a blog about how much he doesn't like me. So he's Dead uh, Ranger or whatever. Dead Justice. Uh, dead dead justice. justice. Put some respect on his name. <laughs> Bad with names, bro. But why does that guy have a bunch of clams? Hold it right there. What are you trespassing? His mom? We're here to see the sheriff. It's about Dead Justice. Oh, wait, does he? You got visitors. Tell him to go away. He's like, I know exactly <laughs> who they are. Time to go. Oh my god, he has sheriff pajamas. He's wearing his hat, dude. 
Oh. His car! Is... He's got a car oh bed! Oh my god! Crystal Cole was a den of iniquity. Lawlessness. So then one day, a left-handed gunslinger named Iron Will Williams. Look at that strong jaw. Iron Will decided right then and- Damn, that is a strong jaw. <laughs> Ain't no one messing with that jaw. Yeah, you can cut cheese with that thing. Oh, damn. Oh. Whoa. No. I'm not even it's sure shot. the gun has that many bullets. Uh, it's a six shooter. My man got his plugged into a game genie. There was one form that justice just couldn't get out of his side. Loneliness. Exploding Eddie. His name was Nitro Wazinski. <laughs> uh, Nitro Wazinski. <laughs> Go to the ends of the earth to bring Nitro down. And that's exactly what he did. <laughs> to a volcano? To a volcano. <laughs> what the? Vol what is what? happening? What? You was it? Oh. 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 They both sank into a What oh. the f And that was the last anyone ever saw of Dead Justice. Seems like this is like the end of like a, a, a TV show or something. Like commercial or something. Dead Justice was a lefty? Oh yeah, he's been shooting with his right hand. Well, the ghost who just shot at us fired with his right hand. Then that ain't no real Dead Justice. Doesn't the Night Ranger shuck with his right hand? I mean, a lot. A lot of people are right-handed because yeah literally 95 like, percent of the world is right-handed everybody hide where's he put the horse when he's in the car he's the horse he is 100 percent the kind of dude that still like reads porno mags instead of watching it online yeah <laughs> shut oh. up no way i place the music oh my god he looks like a porcupine he does bro <laughs> Why would he be at that guy's house? <laughs> like, Time to hand over your badge. Uh, what? What the f is happening? Night Ranger, you saved us. Oh, your ass. Wow, I was convinced it was All him. All right. Bucky, do you know where we could find the sheriff? I wasn't supposed to tell anyone this. So his real name sheriff is Stone took a new job. Sheriff Sheriff Bronson Stone. So he's holding that picture with his left hand. Does that exonerate him? You really think we can prove who's behind this dead justice business? Yep, and I know how. I like that he was wearing his badge on top of the apron. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Natural was in she, but you're dead. <laughs> What's the matter, dude? Wait, what? What? Get away from me! Yo, Dead Justice is made. I guess so. <laughs> Not so tough now. Oh, this man now, is just throwing nitroglycerin. <laughs> You're busted, dude. They didn't even have a real horse. He's getting away. They didn't, Relax, even, they didn't even bother yeah. getting a real horse. You gotta be oh. kidding me. The sheriff was riding Shaggy and Scooby. Time to reveal who Dead Justice is. I still don't know really who it is. is. Oh, you. Was him. Bucky was tired of being just a deputy. He craved the power and prestige of the sheriff's office. Bucky failed every one of. Damn, going by what we know now, hell, they would have made him sheriff. He knew nothing would hurt Sheriff Stone more than losing his job to his hero. The only thing I don't understand is how he created those bullets. I programmed a laser pointer to simulate the animation. That's wild. Thanks for giving me a raise. What raise? An hour ago, your job was free. Don't think I won't find another undead lawman if I have to. Damn. <laughs> At least he tried. Wait, now he's working for free? No, I think he meant before. Lucky like, the job was available. It hadn't have been for us meddling kids. Or he was doing Maybe it for free. I think you might be... Uh... uh, that's great, Fred. Listen, I'm late for a work meeting. But works that way. Holy sh... Yeah, no, his dad is definitely involved more than we realize. In his own way. Like, I, I'm so curious in what way. Sometimes when I look around, the only one I see at my side is you. Daphne, will you ride shotgun with me? He just used an onion ring? Yeah. If you're asking me to marry you, oh, Freddy, yes, you trapped me at hello. He's talented. Graduate, right? <laughs> Don't know what that is, but sure. I don't think he understands what he did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was Why was the dude just watching two? Well, th th those two just on the. He's just hanging yeah. out, man. He's like, I like hanging out watching high school kids date. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> That thing didn't look exactly human. Did we chase it here? Or were we let it on purpose? I don't know, man. I, I'm just uneasy by that bird, even if he was posing as a good guy at the time. Come back! I'm excited to see how this ramps up, because we've seen a lot of comments saying that season two is where it really pops off. Yo, that man loves his bird. I'm sorry, bro. You can't fly, motherfucker. False alarm. It's for Chester Possum. <laughs> 
delicious. Oh, he did that he on ate, purpose. He ate the possum. From six to one. What the f bro? The curse begun. Dude. Bro, it's getting real. Suits, it's getting real. So how's it going with your uh planospheric disc? Not good. I was hoping maybe you knew something because of who you really are. Yeah. I wish I could help. I couldn't figure out the writing on the disc because it was backward. <gasps> And in oh. oh. That's the truck we found at Darrow College with the stuff about the town. <sighs> Bro, Damn. that would stress me out. In order to truly decipher what lies within, you will need to begin where this mystery ended. Since the scandal discrediting my last novel, Char Gar Gothicon. Char Gar Gothicon. That's a crazy <laughs> name. <laughs> I've been trying my hand at writing a teen vampire novel. Oh, low. No idea what teens these days do. We're into solving mysteries and building traps. I think that's just you, Fred. You let us help you. Like, yeah. I feel like vampires are back as well. Bro, emo vampires, all that. Shit. Yo, Everything's every the, everything the, the, like the shaggy is fourth wall break right there though. We've been teenagers forever, bro. <sighs> He knows. Bro. he knows, man. <laughs> Shaggy sees all. Shaggy. He said, when you live in a haze, everything's reality. What? Ben 10? Yeah, I was going to say, you're in the wrong show. She killed the mystery machine. Yeah, yeah, she did. And my trap gear. Forget about that. <laughs> They're going to kill us. He's like, forget my friends, my traps. Why is no one else running in the background? Because that's too uh, much. You're, you're asking all the rest of the much. college kids were just watching this happen. Sir, animation is expensive. Any idea what happened? Oh, please. It was obviously that creep HP hate crap. Damn. This is a fairly serious crime, dude. The kids are in danger. Ed will look into it. I don't like this E. Understood. But let's not forget, little angel. We're both in this together what she being blackmailed it feels that way thank you for agreeing to help me with my novel forgive the mess i've been trying to get more into the spirit of a teenage girl i don't think that's something you should say out loud or at all <laughs> or think it <laughs> yeah right spanish conquistadors used the planospheric disc to hide their cargo so it could be found later cargo like a haunted treasure what professor haycraft we think the mystery machine might still be alive but we need to track it down do you have a car no but i know where we can get one wait he doesn't have a car i mean teacher salary i guess according to my tracker the mystery machine should be right in front of us but this is just an old train no it's not that's a f sheet the mystery machine what <laughs> Dude, once again, everybody. Holy! Getting these weapons. Bro. That outfit has no what the f? Facts. Thank you, Shaggy. <laughs> Spin out the reel, yo. He's just breaking the fourth wall left and right here. In here. Yo! Anyone else notice that the Obliteratrix is in great shape? It's that teen, isn't it? The author lady? Yeah. Could be said for Regina. Regina Wentworth want us dead. Because he's an oldie, oldie head. <laughs> Oh, oh, she got invisibility. Geez. What the f with the weapons, bro? Jesus. Who is Why are all the bad guys always so damn, like, extra agile? Yeah. That too. Jedward. It's like, I let's thought, beat her with a stick. I, I, I think she jumped backwards. Poor Tedward. May he rest in peace. Good job, everyone. Oh, my God. Well? Oh. What the f Bro, are you kidding me? Gang, look at this. She happens to break. What is Fred doing? I found in the cave. Yeah, what, just, what is Fred doing? Just <laughs> some casual welding. Uh, where are Shaggy and Scooby? <laughs> Being attacked by friggin' possums, dude. Oh. oh. You tell me that this whole time no one ever pressed that? This hole probably goes straight down to the Crystal Cove mines. I wonder if anyone else knows about this. No, it's a secret that will die with all of you. I feel like if you wanted it to be a secret, you probably should have covered it with something so people couldn't step on it. Whoa. What? She's got the nets. Why not hate craft? Or did he just dodge it? I was about to kick your sorry butt out of here. Yo! By the power of DVDs. Yo, don't frick with Angel Dynamite, man. Never mind. 
Bro, could this be the other girl that was in the group? Maybe? Time to come clean and reveal that you're... Not Regina. Alice May? How did you get out of jail? I got out with the help of the same person who sent me to destroy... She can easily get out of this trap. He enlisted my services to put you kids in danger. The plot thickens, baby. He figured if Pericles thought you were in trouble, he'd come to your rescue. This is the first time it wasn't, like, a really obvious person. I wasn't guessing her. Uh-uh. Quest Research Laboratories. They supplied me with everything I needed. Weapons, a high-tech cloaking device. Oh, oh my God. God, Johnny Quest. Are you <laughs> kidding me right now, bro? Oh, that Quest. is great. So are you telling me that you escaped from prison months ago and I never noticed? Oh, my God. I, I don't think so. <laughs> I think so, bro. Unbelievable. My real name isn't Angel Dynamite. It's Cassidy Williams. I'm one of the original members of Mystery Incorporated that disappeared. Bum, bum, bum. The thing in those caves forced us to leave Crystal Cold. That's what happened to the original Mystery Incorporated. And it will happen to all of you if you don't stop. The mystery is over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Joke's on you, Angel Dynamite. We still have a finale and a season two. Huh. Got her. This mystery isn't over until we say it's over. Hell yeah, Fred. Yeah. No, you don't understand. The freak is still out there. The juice is loose. It was her tire popped. The very truth will end with me. <laughs> I wonder if this is like a turning point and from this point forward it's going to be like real real sh Yeah. Are you sure this is the way? My calculations don't lie. Why are we stopping? Because of that. Oh, oh the nice pile of skulls. Fair enough. It's only one piece. There are six pieces. Wait, well now they're just walking up there? They already triggered the trap. And that oh, one of them. <gasps> okay, so that's how the locket disappeared. Now all we need is the other five pieces, and the treasure is mine. So, like, I don't know. Do you do you guys think it's like a real thing, or do you think it's like an actual curse? I feel like it's a real person until it's not. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like, feel like it's I, Gollum. Yeah. Dangling donut shrimp, Fred. Don't startle me like that. I think that his mom was one of the original Mystery Inc. people. We're just going to check out his office. Fine, but I know he's not involved in the cursed treasure or the planospheric disc. Says you. No mm-hmm. You did choose Angel over us. Oh, really? Like uh, how you chose Scooby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yo, are we going to break up by the end of this? There is a lot of friction going I on. I could see it, man. Especially, like, if they don't find anything or even if they do, like, Fred's going to snap, I feel like. Well, oh, what the? No shot. What? Is that not a real picture of no. his mom? Look at this. It's a copy of the piece the mayor. Oh, sh what's up, Broham? Kind of cool. Is that or Fred's dad? That's the thing that attacked the original Mystery Incorporated. Run! What's crazy to think is that means that that the same person from 20 years ago. Let's get out of here before someone catches you. Oh, oh, are you oh my God. He said, oh, yeah, that's the good sh**. He's like, I've been waiting for this. Your children are felons. Let him go. I'm not pressing charges. Oh, really? Damn, bro. <laughs> he was like, I really want to ruin some kids' lives. Dad, oh. you can't do that. Just listen for a second. Fred and I are engaged. Um, what? Ooh. Hold up. Oh, oh, Yo, my oh, man my. fainted. What? It's your fault. Mystery Incorporated is over. Fred! I don't know why she thought that would work. Hey, Shaggy, Scooby, guard the disc piece in your room. Velma? already on it damn their parents are real stupid and they just swiped that at the police station please have one good night snack damn like i sure hope i remember to stock the backup fridge damn you his bed is a fridge writer that's smart god damn that's smart you know there's just some people living in the future yep. your bed will always be cold at least the disc is safe hell yeah <laughs> no problem no way Oh, what? There's more than one. There is more than one, you're right. E3, the rest of Mystery Incorporated? Get in this car if you want to live. Okay. The freak attacked them at their home. I'll tell Mr. E they're safe. The rest is up to you. I thought you told us you weren't working with Mr. E anymore. It's like I lied, baby. Sorry, Angel. The adults in this town... Yo, Fred said psych! The curse will destroy you just like you destroyed my friends. The biggest thing about this that people don't realize, yo, kicking down a door, not that difficult. I'm not saying it's not going to take a couple tries. Hello, Ed Machine. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill me, bird? Say what you want to say, Pericles. Then get out of my 
Nice house. Nice house. I don't want to say anything. Um, what? Yo, okay, can I get a quick pause? Ed just like, got don't get me wrong. By a bird. I, I, just I, got I, killed I, by a bird? I, I know, I know it's a talking bird, which means that, like, he, he is actually built different. But, like, bro, Ed Machine there was a very large man. He was. I'm just saying. Maybe get your maybe, ass beat by a bird. Maybe no, nah, dude. He he just verbally assaulted him, man. That's what happened right yeah, there. Yeah, it was with, it with was knowledge. I mean, bro, birds him. can die from air fresheners. Like, are you <laughs> like you telling me you like you don't get like one good he's a, like he's a swing strong on bird, a... bro? He's a strong bird. Yeah. Fred, is this the picture of your mom from your house? Why do you? We're here. You notice how it's still in the frame too. Mm -hmm. He's upset. Well, but, he, but he also hasn't gone through the process of like breaking it open to check. Mm -hmm. If I'm right, shining light down through the pieces as they move should reveal coordinates <coughs> that match one of Paracles. Um, what? Now, plug those coordinates into my GPS. Now, I can Professor Paracles. We're back. Will they survive? Empty. What? Frederick, why? I mean, I guess you assume if a booby trap was Sorry. triggered already. Professor Paracles, what? how did you. Track on the mystery machine. All right, fair. We're not scared of you. Yes, we are. Out. Children, <laughs> there's nothing to fear. Except for this. Yeah, see, yeah, exactly. Like, boom. Maybe he's the freak. He's built different. I wonder what the process was for that thing choosing its lipstick. Blood of thine enemies. Fred, why would you set off the trap without knowing? I, nah, I mean, I we, call we, we now knew this, but Fred keeps them wet. Does this mean Professor Pericles is dead now? I hope. I don't know. I kind of hope so. The freak. What are you? Who are you? The freak said it's tough to run in colonial garb when you're wet. Like, do you think the freak is Fred's dad? Nah, it could be his mom. I don't think the Go, mom's Fred! Real. Oh, God. Damn. Oh. Bro, what the finale just kills Fred? Is that... Who's the it's freak? his dad, bro. It's either his dad or his mom. You think you think the freaks are like a Knights Templar kind of thing? Like, oh, passed down to like, what the f damn Angel Dynamite? All right, so we ruled out everybody else's parents, but I don't see Fred's dad nowhere. The freak of Crystal yep. Grove is my father. Damn, f get that it. ass, Frederick. Which is kind of f up, by the way. Yeah, incredibly. F up. I'd heard about the curse and the supposed haunted treasure. That was the reason I came to Crystal Cove. For access to my knowledge, Pericles was willing to betray his friends. Damn. We concocted a scheme to blackmail the kids into leaving town by threatening them with fabricated documents. Holy shit. Pericles had to go. I tried to get him Fabrice. with Fabrice. He was sentenced to spend the rest of his miserable parrot life in a cage. <laughs> Bro, this is wild. Fred Childs is your real father. What? What the? F I had to stop Brad. I took you and told him you'd be safe as long what as they the never returned again. <sighs> no way. That's why he always not. just seemed like he didn't care. You used me. Where'd you hide it? In your pocket? It's gone. Pericles has it. My whole life has been a lie, Daphne. Dude, that would destroy Dude, anybody, that's... let alone a oh my teenager. God. Sorry, Daphne. The engagement is off. I'm leaving oh. Crystal Cove and I'm leaving tonight. Oh. What about us? Holy oh. Dude, this is this went so such a direction I did not expect. When we feel it best, you go away for a while. What? What? Farms to a military academy. And don't worry about What is happening? A nice farm to live on. <gasps> what? Nah, the kids are gonna run away. Like, Dude. They, they got it, right? Like, I mean. Is there gonna be like a time skip? I have what I came for. Two down, four to go. Until we meet again, we'll be coming for you. Oh, my name isn't Scooby. Scooby no! This is how it really ends. This is Bro, how that. I'm not that's... gonna lie, man. I'm oh, hyped. Who's the one uh, when we were watching that said like, "Dude, the gang's gonna break up." Who, 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 who said that? Boom said it. How dare you bring that evil? How dare you? brought you, it into this sir. world, you how son of a bitch. The audacity. You know what? I deserve that. It's Bro, I can't <laughs> believe. I did not. I don't even know where you go from here. Stay tuned, Billy. Stay tuned. It's gonna be a goddamn doozy. Billy, I don't know how to tell you this. We're not your dads. And don't we tell him that. Bye. See you in the next one, Billy. We did bang your mom, though. Be the joy.